On today's part in my take, we have maybe the best slash worst show we've ever done. We have our baseball draft. We've been teasing it for a while. We're going to do a regular show to start, so we're going to talk some NBA free agency, Ricky Fowler, who's back of the week, some more uh, current events, and then we have Joey Chestnut getting ready for the 4th of July, the greatest athlete ever created, uh, and Mount Rushmore baseball names, and then we go to our baseball draft where, uh, yeah, it's it's two hours of dudes just naming names. I love this baseball, uh, fantasy baseball league that we've created. It's called Dingers Only. It's going to be fucking awesome. Do we have merch? We should have merch. Maybe we forgot merch. We're going to get merch for the Dingers Only League, but uh, it's going to be an interesting show. It's going to be a different show. I'm excited for everyone to listen to it. It's brought to you by our friends at FX. This episode is brought to you by FX Justified City Primeval. Based on the best-selling Elmore Leonard novels, Timothy Oliphant is back as Marshall Raylan Givens. His hair is grayer. His hat is dirtier. And while balancing life as a U.S. Marshal and part-time father, a chance encounter sends him to Detroit where he crosses paths with the Oklahoma wild man, a violent sociopath, and his powerful defense attorney who finds herself caught between cop and criminal. This is going. This is a great, great show. You have to tune in. FX Justified City Primeval premieres July 18th on FX. Stream on Hulu. Uh, there's nothing better than watching a great show in the summer. Not a ton of sports going on. Just dive into an awesome, awesome show, and that is this. FX Justified City Prime Evil premieres July 18th on FX. You can stream it on Hulu. Go check it out. You will not be disappointed. An awesome, awesome show. Perfect summer show. A lot of intrigue, action, everything. FX Justified City Prime Evil premieres July 18th on FX. Stream on Hulu. Okay, let's go. Welcome to part in my take. Today is Monday, July 3rd, and PFT, we should have been NBA players because holy shit, they're getting paid, and it is awesome. Yeah, it really is. Like some of the names that are getting these huge, huge deals, it just, you scratch your head, but then you're like, oh yeah, they actually have to spend that money. Um, I don't want to call Michael Malone a liar. When he said that we're running this shit back with Bruce Brown, I think he said at the parade, like, damn right, Bruce is coming back. We're running this shit back. Anything you say at a championship parade should be that's like that's client patient confidentiality. You can't can't hold that against anybody. You're drunk at a parade. You're going to say what you want. And uh, yeah, good for him. I think he got like 40 million and the Nuggets could only offer him like eight million a year. So they tried to keep a big cat. They tried to keep Bruce Brown. I mean, we said this right after they won the title because, remember, Bruce Brown was the one who said it. And we're like, you know when the worst time to negotiate a new deal is? Is like seconds after you win a title with your boys and you're drenched in champagne because Bruce Brown, the night he won a title, said, I want to stay. It's a perfect fit and money is not everything. The money will come, so I'm not worried about that right now. I don't hold that against him whatsoever because no, $45 I, million it, is a lot more money than $8 million a year. Yeah, yeah. No, he said all the right things, but at the end of the day, when you're looking at $45 million next to $16 million, you'd have to be a fucking moron not to take the forty-five. So congratulations to him. Um, yeah. The biggest loser in free agency is Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant got $150 million to return to the Trail Blazers. Now on paper, you're like, wow, that's a great deal. But the contract was the straw that broke the camel's back for Dame. He was like, this is, this is what we're doing in free agency? We're re-signing Jeremy Grant? Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm out. And now Dame Lillard is in a – so I, I said I was going to do it, and uh, I, I did it right away. I was like, Dame, no loyalty left in the NBA. Like, can't believe he would do this. People reacted accordingly, very upset at me. Uh, but the, the interesting thing with Dame right now is he wants to go to the Heat, and the Heat don't have the best offer, and now you have, like – Blazers and Heat fans arguing online where Heat fans can basically be like, well, no, we want him and he's going to be ours and there's nothing you can do about it. And the Blazers being like, wait, we can't get any free agents no matter what. So we have to get like a ton of draft picks. 
And uh, that will just be a showdown for the next month, it feels like. who like Can the Blazers actually get a good deal, or do they just have to be like... The, the, the theory that the Blazers should treat Dame correctly so that they could get future free agents is the dumbest theory in the world. They're not going to get future free agents. They should get whatever they can get because as good as Dame was for them, he's the best Blazer of all time, incredibly loyal, uh, seems like a great dude. You can't just be like, oh, because you were a great dude, we'll just take Tyler Hero and, and call it even. Yeah, those are my favorite people online, the ones who were like, well, why would anybody ever sign with Portland after watching what they're going to do to Dame if they don't send him to the place that he wants? That's a good point. It's a great point, and we'll follow that away in the future. When they don't get good free agents, it's because of how they treated Dame. It yes. has nothing to do with the franchise, nothing to do with the fact that people don't want to play in Portland. It's just straight up how they're going to treat Dame. They really have no leverage. Like, Dame doesn't really have any leverage in this situation. He's just saying, I would like to play for the Heat. Can we just make that happen? And I guess, like, if he has, he has done a lot for that organization, and so they might just try to do him a solid and be like, okay, here, here we go. But, like, if you're a GM, your job is not to treat players that have requested trades away from you as good as possible. Your job is to try to try to win basketball games in the future. And if that's going to be to the heat, whatever, maybe they'll trade them. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they'll trade them somewhere else. And then maybe it's a three-way trade. And, and, and not only that, we're not, it's not even shitting on Portland because I think outside of like four or five franchises in the NBA, there's not a lot of franchises that are like destinations for free agents. That's just how the league works. It's not like there's, there's a lot of cities in the NBA that, the guys aren't being like lining up to go to. I mean, I, I fell for it when I thought LeBron and D Wade were going to go to Chicago. It's like, well, that was fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, the, the Blazers should do whatever's best for them. I have another biggest loser for you, PFT. It's uh, Kyrie Irving haters because Kyrie Irving, who has played sparingly for uh, the better half of like what, three or four years going now, uh, got paid three years, $127 million uh, to stay with the Mavericks. I don't think they were bidding against anyone except Luka Doncic's happiness. Like, I think it was just, we have to sign him because we traded for him and we have to do it now. Otherwise, we're not going to get another star and Luka might leave. So the Kyrie Irving haters probably have to eat one here because he got a lot of money for not playing a lot the last few years. And I think Kyrie's leverage was that he was he was going to take a visit to Phoenix. He like yeah, wanted to, to drive to, to play Phoenix. for two million dollars. Yeah, he wanted he wanted to get on an RV and go uh, to a sweat lodge or, or have some peyote or something like that. Go on a vision quest out in Phoenix, and that was enough to make Mark Cuban sweat and be like, we can't we can't have him leave the state. We got to keep him locked down. So yeah, he's he got paid a shitload of money. Fred Van Vliet, good for Fred Van Vliet. Houston dude, doing that, something. Houston did a lot of things in free agency, and they did the most with Van Vliet. I forget how much money they're paying him. It was it was about two hundred million, somewhere somewhere in that vicinity. Three for one twenty eight. Three for one twenty eight. He's a culture. Yeah, yeah, he's right. a culture yeah. setter. He's so they're he, paying for the culture. Yes. They're paying for the culture. So he's getting like super max money, but not just the. Uh, he's not getting five years. He's going to have another bite of the apple soon. But good for him. I don't really understand it because they just drafted a point guard. Uh, that culture. is presumed. Yeah. So he's going to be, it's like paying it's culture, $123 million for Udonis Haslam. If he was actually good. So yeah, like no, he, it's, it's an adult. You're, you're basically getting an adult in the room to be like, Hey, this guy actually knows how to be a pro. We have a very young, talented team. Uh, we'll pay him a lot of money to hopefully, you know, some of that young championship calorie won a title in Toronto rub off on everyone. I like that. Yeah. He's yeah. Just a role model. They 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 bought a role model in free agency for was it Amen Thompson? So yeah. he's gonna yeah I mean it's a good fit and especially if you look at like Van Vliet and the money that he was making in Toronto. I don't know what state income tax is in Canada. Probably pretty high. Uh, they, he is going to be rich as fuck in Houston. So good for him. Yeah these these deals are awesome. They they obviously the uh, the meme goes around where you know they they have like. Uh, Chris Middleton signed for three years, $102 million, and Michael Jordan made like $93 million in his career, which mm -hmm. it actually, if you take out the last two years with the Bulls, Michael Jordan in the other like 14 years of his career made $30 million. So I love those memes. I actually think we should go one further. Um, I think Tyrese Halliburton and LaMelo both signed Supermaxes, so it's five years up to $260 million. So you're going to get paid like $50 million a year. Uh Dan Marino's career earnings 
was fifty one point five million. John Elway's was forty five million. Now yeah. it's obviously different sport, different era, everything. But I think it, just for memes, memes, you're you're on this right now. We need to just find like Babe Ruth's career earnings and be like, look at this. Uh, Karis Levert is making like sixteen times what Babe Ruth made his entire career, yeah. just for the retweets. Yeah, I like that. Or, or like compare compare them to like uh, people in the military or teachers. Yeah, yeah. like just, the average like, teacher makes thirty seven thousand dollars a year, but Karis Levert is going to be set. For, his grandkids' grandkids are going to be set it, for life. It's basically the. It's basically whenever someone does a tweet like thirty five years ago, Die Hard came out in theaters. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, time. Yes, time is di- time keeps going. Money keeps going up. Time goes differently. Uh, it's just a bunch of those memes ba- back and forth about how much these money these guys are making. It is yeah. cool. They are making so much money. Like all, of, uh, it, it's good for them, and I love it. And it is awesome to see like some of these contracts come down. And you're just like, holy fuck, this guy's getting what? And fuck it. I, I mean, who? Uh, Dante Divincenzo just got. What four years, fifty million for the Knicks? Mm-hmm. Like, why not? Why not? I think I think it, I think the moment that I realized that like to be upset about any of this is so stupid was when Tony Snell a few years ago got paid like forty four million dollars over like three years or four years to be with the Bucks, and it was like cool. Fuck yeah. it, you can't Cap you can't up. get mad about that. What are you going to do? Like d- demand that the Milwaukee Bucks sign a bunch of teachers and firefighters? No, you you just got to get your game up. Yeah, like we should have been game. basketball players. Just going back to the beginning, we should have like if 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 anything, this is a lesson to everyone out there listening. Like, get your game up. Uh, don't be a podcaster like us. Be an NBA player like them. Yeah, people who are like, how come how come the NFL players don't get this much money unless you're like a quarterback? Well, because there's more points in basketball, so you get paid by the points. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty simple math, guys. And punt, pass, and kick is very expensive on the bottom line for NFL franchises. It is putting that yeah. on has to be a headache. Yeah, uh, but yeah, shout out to all the players that just got rich as fuck today. That's you know good good for them. We also should mention uh, James Harden. I think this is three trade requests in four years. So he opted in with the Sixers, which actually is a good move for the Sixers because they can get something for him. I think James Harden did it because he's like, I don't like anyone who has salary cap money is probably not going to be good. So I'd rather opt in and then trade and be able to play for a team that's good. Uh, he wants to go to the Clippers, which would be the funniest place for him to go. Mm-hmm. I don't, I can't imagine, like, if they added Kyrie, that would be the perfect all, like, least dependable team. Maybe Ben Simmons as well. Oh, weirdo. Kyrie, yeah. Paul, Paul George. But I, I think we said, I don't know if we were, I think we were off air uh, when we were talking about it, PFT, but, like, the Clippers – have become like the greatest uh, legacy changing thing for Paul George. He's becoming, if, if James Harden goes to the Clippers, Paul George is easily like the, the most likable and most dependable player they have. Yeah. Yeah. Because they would have, they would have Westbrook. They would have, uh, then in this case, who is dependable, who is dependable, but not, maybe not Westbrook is dependable. You know exactly where you're getting. I think he's getting like $3 million a year. Yeah. Clippers. Like he's getting paid nothing. Um, and then obviously you've got Kawhi, who I don't think is is Kawhi a basketball player. Sometimes, Sometimes and he's does he still he's play? not unlikable. He's just not dependable. Just weirdos. They've just got like a, a bunch of weirdos on the Clippers, which is that's exactly how I like my Clippers. I don't like my Clippers to be feisty and to be like the team that that has expectations on them. The Clippers should always be just very very strange basketball players grouped into almost like you put a bunch of different animals inside a mason jar and you make them get along. Well, it's also perfect because uh, they're opening up a new arena. So they're like, well, we need guys to be able to sell seats in this new arena. And that's essentially what they're doing. They're just collecting as many guys as they can. It doesn't make sense basketball-wise, but they're like, look at all the names we have. Come buy season tickets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like no, that strategy. It, it's, a, it's a good strategy for them. Uh, who else? Who are, who are the other big winners? Uh, Draymond, oh, La- to Lakers. the Warriors. Shout yeah. out the Lakers. The Lakers keeping their young guys together. Yeah, Rui, Austin Reeves, uh, they got Gabe Vincent as well. I, I actually think the Lakers like have a, a pretty damn good team. Um, it is funny how we immediately forget about the team that just won the title. Everyone's like, look at, you know, Eric Gordon went to the Suns. Suns are filling out their roster. And look at the Lakers. Like, well, yeah, the Nuggets are still the best team. Let's 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 pump the brakes until 
well, you know, we start playing ball and we see that they're like drastically different, which I don't think they will be. Um, but yeah, the the Lakers. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, the Warriors getting Draymond Green. I like that just because Draymond Green being in a different uniform would have sucked. Like if he was on the Mavericks, it would have sucked. Mm-hmm. It would, it's going to be weird though. How long was his contract? His contract's four years, a hundred mil. Yeah. So the last two years of that contract, he's he's not going to be good at all. But I mean, I I feel like. He's he's not good offensively already. Like mm-hmm. he's just going to keep doing like being Draymond Green and making it all work defensively. And, and they're they're like, I like teams even though if it makes no sense, they're like we're going to keep it all together. We're going to try to eke out one more. And what's the worst that happens? Like all of them age poorly, and we have like a sick you know like retirement night. All of them together. Like what, think, there's not really many ho- other options. I think it's going to be cool to have Draymond around once Chris Paul starts getting a little too chippy. Once he, oh, he tries to take like face. too yeah. much of that leadership role. Yeah. It's going to be, someone's getting hit in the face. Someone's getting hit in the dick. Yeah. So, um, Max or Hank, cause you guys kind of share teams. Uh, James Harden. Do you want him to stay on the Sixers? I don't think, I think he's going to start the season on the Sixers. I think it's gonna be a Kevin Durant kind of situation where he might get traded later in the season, but I don't think anyone's going to offer what Daryl Morey wants for this year for the Sixers. Thoughts? That's, exa- that's exactly what I was going to say. Um, well, I said it first. I know. Same. I, I was going to say did. that too. <laughs> PFT, were you going to say that? Yeah, I was just going to say that like James Harden, he might <laughs> just have to eat his way out of town. That's really the only – that's that's the last shot that he has left in his bag right now, just get fat again. Which, by the way, that was the ult- that was that was the funniest trade move of all time. Like, oh, you're not yeah. going to trade me? Well, I'm, I have it in my power to get fat over the span of two weeks. Yes. Yeah, morbidly obese. Yeah, and Pat Bev also on the team, which is huge for, for our guy Roan, uh, who's a Sixers fan, having Pat Bev be on his favorite team and doing a podcast with him. But, Max, do you want James Harden to – play the entire season with the Philadelphia 76ers from the reports of the guys that we would get back. I would rather have James Harden. Like okay. I don't like, that makes I, don't, sense. I don't need, I don't need Norman Powell instead of James Harden. If you're thinking logistically of like trying to have a winning basketball team. Um, I don't think that it's going to stick. I think eventually more, going to get something out of it, but I think it's going to probably be in like, by like around Christmas time. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like that's that it's going to – they're just going to have to – Daryl Morey doesn't feel like a guy who's just going to trade no. someone just because he wants to be traded. No. Well, I don't no. like that James Harden wants to leave us. Like, <laughs> if, if you you would think that if you're a good team that has a chance to win a championship, you would want to stay, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you guys – this is your window, that's right, Nick? That's not adding up to me. It's a great point. I love this city, and I just want – like, I don't, I don't understand why someone would want to leave it. Mm-hmm. Do you think do you think he has less faith in the team than you do as a fan? I just think getting the opportunity to play with the MVP like that's you don't get that opportunity every now, every every year. So why would you be running literally running yeah. from it as fast as you can? Yeah, Hank, don't you don't you want guys that want to be there? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. How you feeling, Max? Ain't, ain't no, no I mean, with the rabbit cup I, of gun. No, no, I, I agree. I, I mean, I'm happy that I have another Sixers fan in here to, you know, just do do some discourse on, on my uh, on my Sixers. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, also, what else? Derek Rose, yeah, he's returning want, to Memphis. That that tells me that Jerry Reinsdorf has really lost his fastball, not the fact that he can't field competitive teams in both sports that he owns, but uh, – the fact that he wasn't like, let's just bring Derrick Rose back just to fill the United Center because that felt like yeah. that was that was going to be the move. But yeah, I like I like him. Oh, and we forgot Dylan Brooks. Dylan Brooks. Yeah. Hope you. Uh, yeah. Hope you. Hope you ha- have fun learning Chinese, buddy. Turns out, uh, four years, eighty million for the Rockets is a little different than going going abroad. I mean, I like that for the Rockets too. You got Fred Van Vliet to basically be the adult in the room, and Dylan Brooks to be like the pest. Yeah. I mean, Dylan Brooks, there's no chance that he's as bad as we all remember him as being in, in that last series. He's not. A bad, he's a good defender. A he's, not, he's not bad. He's just, he's just a dumbass. He, and you he can, just you can did hopefully, dumb things. Yeah, you, yeah he's, he's not dumb by his nature. He's not bad at basketball by, by, you know, like as a person. But he's just, he's just stupid. 
And so you can fix stupid sometimes. Yeah. And you also, every single team needs one, like, irrationally confident, stupid guy who thinks that they can stop LeBron in a seven game series. That's not a bad thing to happen. Have no, like, you you want one of those guys. You don't want a whole team of those guys, but you need one of those guys who thinks they're the best player in the world and can, you know, go toe to toe with people for a game or two. Yeah, the the big John Thompson quote. You did, you you can win a chip with two of those guys. If you have five of them, they'll get you fired. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, okay, any other NBA stuff? It was fun. Free agency, fun time. Yeah. Just um, contracts I, everywhere. I grade free agency overall. I give it a B minus this year. Well, it, it's you know what it is is like I w- I was thinking about it because I was like, God damn it! I wish the NBA did free agency not on a holiday weekend when like you know. We, we, there's a lot of sports all year round. And like, this is the one stretch we can just bank on being like, not a lot going on, but it's actually smart for them because there's nothing going on. And the NBA can just have free agency for a couple of days and everyone can f- freak out and then forget about who got signed uh, until like Christmas day. Yeah. I just, I, I wish that Kyrie had gone somewhere else that would have turned this from a B minus into like an A minus yeah. because it, that would have added a little extra drama to it. There were too many guys, Resigning with their own teams for my liking. I like I like the this league drama that goes along with it. I don't care yeah. that Kyle Kuzma is coming back for a hundred mil. Yeah, this league, big time. This league. Um. Okay. Other news. Ricky Fowler's back officially. Big time back. Big no one time watched back. it. People watched it on their phone. CBS. I do not understand what happened. They basically they they had a weather uh, inclement weather coming in Detroit. So the Rocket Mortgage Tournament. They started everyone at like eight in the morning and the coverage didn't begin till three o'clock. So everyone had to just like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I just scrambled. I was watching, I watched a couple things on ESPN plus, And then I was like, wait, is it on NBC? Cause it was on the golf channel. And then finally I figured out it was on CBS uh, sports app for like the last, like three holes of the tournament. And then the overtime just a complete disaster of live rights. I don't understand how it happens. Well, it, it happened because it was in the script that Max Homo was going to get a hole in one. And we still yes. don't really have video evidence of it because we didn't see it on a big screen. We only saw it on a phone. It was grainy footage that was uploaded. So we don't know. Jake, I don't know if you have any comment on that. It looked like Max faked his hole in one today. Yeah, I mean, you saw him celebrate. Very uh, calm celebration. He acted like he was there before, but I guess he didn't see the ball go in the hole. So I guess... It's an open case. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. yeah. He he said he hasn't seen either of his hole in ones on tour. It's it's good yeah. to have Ricky back. Ricky's been awesome for like the last month. He's just like the he's the most likable guy. You can't root against Ricky Fowler. It it also I didn't realize like the full story that he rehired his swing coach. I think um, is how like he basically someone likened it to like getting back with the next wife and being like, sorry, I was the one who fucked everything up. Like it, it takes a lot of like swallowing pride to rehire your coach. And he went through some dark times. What was it like? Uh, was it 1600 days or something? It was a long, long stretch that he hadn't won. I think it was 2019 was the last mm-hmm. time he won. So yeah, it's, he's going to be in the Ryder cup. He looked awesome. It was good that he finished one. The fact that he finished one too, with that tee shot on, on, uh, the second time they played 18, I thought he was fucked. And yeah, it's Ricky's Ricky's great for golf. Stamped great for golf. Yeah, recurring guest a part of my take. People forget that. Ricky yeah, we gotta have him back on. We gotta have Ricky back on. I can't wait. If we win the Ryder Cup, I can't wait for him to remake that picture where everybody's making out with their wives or girlfriends afterwards. Yes. And Ricky's just in the middle, just smiling, like I don't have a face to kiss right now. Yes. Um, I need I need him with uh Allison Stoke, right? That's his wife. Yes, I Olympian. Need, uh, yeah, full on just tongue wrestling. Yes, yes. And Ricky's got a kid now. That's that. Listen, that's a wow. We all age so fast. Ricky's got a kid. He Whoa. was he was time. he was a guy with no girlfriend last time we saw him in the Ryder Cup. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that was awesome. It was awesome to see Ricky back. Uh, congrats to him. Any other sports news? I don't. I don't think so. We That's have about baseball it. draft. We have there our was, baseball draft. We have our baseball draft. I'm very excited about that. We were drinking Coors Lights because it was on Hank's birthday. Yes. So we cracked open some 40s and uh, and just said a bunch of dudes' names. And at, at one point, I think Billy had like 
uh, five minutes to make a pick, and then it circled back to him, and he needed another three minutes to make his pick after that. Yeah. Um, but we have been keeping track of the scores in our in our league over the last month or so since we did the draft. We should say, though, because the original scoring format has yes. changed a little bit. So it was originally going to be uh, dingers only, so you get one point per home run. And then you had one guy, and his designated spot was only getting hit by pitches. So that was going to be worth 10 every time he got hit by a pitch. We quickly realized that that scoring system makes no sense whatsoever because it's just basically a one-man team where if you have the guy that gets hit by the most pitches, you automatically win the league because they're so overvalued. So we made an adjustment on the fly, and we reduced it to five points per hit by pitch. Jake was not happy about it, but Hank suggested it. We all agreed that it was the right call to make for the spirit of fairness and competition. So Jake thinks that Hank has it out to get him and was I, – I, Jake, I guess I'll let you state your case here, but I think you have to acknowledge that it would be unfair just to have your hit-by-pitch guy be the only player that counts on your roster. We should just make hit-by-pitch one point next year. It should – it's dingers only. That's the name of the, the league, dingers only. Jake? Yeah, no, it's Who, whose idea was ten points in the first place? I just I wanted know. to have a hit by pitch guy on the roster. Jake, you still there? I think, uh, it's just interesting how first place or second place, and we changed it after the league had begun. That's all I said. He just doesn't like how we change the rules during the season. Uh, I also think that's pretty screwed up. Just I was Billy. You person. voted in favor. I didn't. I'm the only one on video who said oh, I yeah, didn't she vote. Did. You yeah, didn't. you're right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Everyone else did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The top two, the first and second place at the time, were not present for the vote. Right, but it doesn't matter because five out of eight voted yes. I think we should Bang. just. I I actually think hit by pitch was a big mistake in general. I think it should be the dingers yeah. only is what gets me gassed up. Just dingers. I like having one guy that gets hit by a pitch. Ten points is way too much per hit by pitch. It should be, I think, two. Two is the magic number. Yeah. Okay, so next year we'll do two. This year we'll have to yep. deal with five. One bit of sports news. Elon Musk, the, the country of Italy, has asked Elon Musk and uh, Mark Zuckerberg to fight in the Coliseum. They, they, if they're going to do the good fight, sports news. it might That's be huge in the Coliseum. Sports news. <laughs> no, but think The think country of it. Italy. <laughs> think about it. Like, imagine they fought in the Coliseum. It turns out Elon yeah. Musk is actually sick at jujitsu too, so this is actually like a good matchup. That actually, that I mean, that's genius by Italy. They were like, "Oh, the two richest dudes in the world want to fight. Wonder what we could charge for this." Yeah. Also, like, we got a spot for it. A lot of pasta. Elon, yeah. hey, Elon and Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. I want to throw this out there. We will host in the new uh, barstool office in Chicago. We will host the fight. So we'll talk, we'll negotiate, but we are happy to host the fight. Mm -hmm. And Billy, you, your assignment is to kidnap both of them. Perfect. Yeah, just have them show up. Um, okay, let's do who's back, and then we'll get to Joey Chestnut, and then we will do Mount Rushmore baseball. Oh, by the way, congratulations to Jake and Billy. You guys are back as well on your Mount Rushmores, like kind of making a little charge, making it interesting. So we'll yeah, find so out. We're, down by, we're only down by three points. We're That's about to huge. You, you, had, you had thrown in the white towel, back-to-back -to -back victory. So, um, all right, before we get to who's back, it is brought to you by our friends at Farmer's Dog. Whether you have a few weeks old puppy or a senior who's seen multiple decades, any dog person like me knows the most valuable thing in the world is spending time with your pet. The Farmer's Dog can help to keep them healthy, which can give you more quality years with them. The Farmer's Dog makes and delivers fresh, healthy dog food. It's recommended by vets, nutritionally balanced, and made from human-grade ingredients in safe, clean kitchens. It's the best option for dogs at all life stages because it's not kibble. It's not canned goo. It's just real food. Traditional dry and wet dog food options are extremely processed, can use much lower quality ingredients than they claim to, and are extremely difficult to portion accurately. I've been a farmer's dog guy. Uh, Stella's been eating it for years now. I actually got farmer's dog before they even came on as a sponsor. So you know I love farmer's dog. It's higher quality food. <coughs> Excuse me. They also send uh, pre-proportioned specifically for your dog based on unique nutritional needs. This makes it easy to help your dog maintain their ideal weight 
which is one of the biggest indicators of a full, healthy life. A fresh diet has been found to have all sorts of benefits from healthier coat and skin to better breath, even easier digestion and smaller, better poops. A healthy diet isn't just important for humans. It's important for dogs. So get 50% off your first box at farmersdog.com slash PMT. That's farmersdog.com slash PMT. I'm telling you, your dog will love it. You will love it. It makes food. It makes dinner and breakfast so easy for your dog. And your dog will be healthier and live longer and have a great life with the Farmer's Dog. So get 50% off your first box at farmersdog.com slash PMT. And know it comes Big Cat and Stella approved. Farmersdog.com slash PMT. Okay, who's back of the week, Hank? Uh, My who's back of the week, it was going to be Ricky. It's Colin Kaepernick. Oh. Oh. He did an interview and said he still works out five to six times a week waiting for an NFL call. So Same, same. He could be back. Yeah. <laughs> he could I, I be. mean, do, <laughs> you work out five to six times a week, Billy? We've seen some visuals that would go opposite of that. I, yeah, no, I would no, not. I, I, I work out five to six days a week like waiting for an NFL call still. Maybe, maybe Colin Kaepernick should switch to being a wide receiver. We can get him matched up one-on-one against Will Compton and see what he's got in that department. Ooh, Okay. I like it. All right, so Colin Kaepernick's back. That will be that Florio just got like a full month's worth of blogs to write. That's perfect for him. I'm happy for him more than anyone. Yeah, no, it's it's that's a gold mine. And also, he loves posting those so that he can get mad at his own readership online yeah. for being well, like Florio Wire. My favorite, not you know what? They call it. Yeah. Right. Well, the comment section has migrated to Twitter, okay. and so he still he gets down in the weeds on that. Um, the the. Uh, I don't care about this response to the Colin Kaepernick has started to rival the I don't care about Michael Sam comments that would come out every time Florio would write a Michael Sam article. So, yeah, all the replies for Florio are just going to be like, who cares? I don't care. Like people just letting him know, like, hey, I, I don't care about this so much that I logged on to factor authentication to tell you and I'm using one of my rate limit tweets to let you know that I don't care about this article. Yes. Yes. Um, OK, good. Who's back? PFT. Great who's back, Hank. My who's back of the week, again, United States soccer, bitch. We're up 4 nothing against Trinidad and Tobago. We were oh. beating two teams at once, two countries at once, 4-0, and uh, I think one dude had a hat trick, so we're back big time. This is in the, the Gold Cup. I think that's the tournament that we made up just so that we could get another dub. It's all the North American teams, plus we put Qatar in there too because they're technically North American, I guess, in some way. Um, okay. But yeah, looks like we're on the on the fast track for another Gold Cup, bitches. Yeah, fuck yes. Let's go, USA. All right, my who's back is the Friday before July 4th news dump because uh, there were a lot of firings. Uh, we actually had a couple people let go at Barstool, which sucks, but it was ESPN had, like, friends of ours, people that, you know, we've, we've had on the show many times. That sucked, and that was, like, it actually became – so big that it was like it wasn't a news dump like you thought you could maybe like get it under the rug right before july 4th weekend but that was a lot of shocking names at espn are andrew no marsh on ESPN. twitter was like was like woge yeah, yeah it, it was, was crazy steve levy so, i mean jeff van gundy out to see that jill and rose well, Tom Shea, our good there. friend yeah what steve levy's still there he sent like on a pfc <sighs> Is that a Leroy? Did Leroy break that one? Wait, see, Steve had like a tweet that was talking about how good. Was he talking about other people leaving? He Josh prayed yeah, it. Yeah, because Andrew Marchin quote tweeted Steve Levy still fully at ESPN. He was reacting to his colleagues being let go, but some have misconstrued his tweet, leading to question about his status. Oh, wow. PFT, Leroy. you just John Rom John Rom dad him. No, he, he got he <laughs> got me Brown good. Then. He got yeah. me good because like oh, Jalen Brown. Where, when's that happening? Oh, uh, Hank, has he resigned yet? No. <laughs> Hank, did he sign yet? Okay. But yeah, it yeah. sucked. That okay, whole day sucked. Because Steve Levy said, feel numb, been trying to find the right words, maybe there aren't any. That, to me, sounded like he was gone. Oh, no. I, he's sad I, for his friends. Yeah, he's sad for his friends. Either Class way, it act. sucked. It's also like a reminder that we work in a, I mean, everyone, everyone's job in, in in America, like they, you know, people get fired every day. Um, everyone's going to get fired eventually. Like we'll get fired eventually, PFT. Mm-hmm. It yeah. will suck. 
It so, might be it might be cool though, depending on what we do to get fired. Like if we get fired for kidnapping Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk, that would be awesome. I could play a lot of golf if I got fired. Imagine how much golf Hank would play. Oh my god. Well, Hank would fire us. He would keep the job. He'd probably take our salaries. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be like, We're just we're just doing some some little cleaning up on the books. We're gonna let these two guys go. I'll do their work for them. Hey, when you play uh, golf as your job, does that still count as taking some time off to play golf? Like, do you need to play more golf to to calm down and relax after playing golf at work? I wouldn't know. I, I hope I hope to find that out one day. Oh, you're going pro. Okay. Love it. Either way, it sucked a lot, and I feel really bad for everyone who got fired. Anyone who takes joy in any of them sucks. Um, but yeah. It was it was one of those like Friday news dumps that became so big it wasn't it it had the opposite effect of a Friday news dump. Yeah, the Fourth of July news dump is a, a, a tried and true t- tradition in sports. Usually, it's the NFL that has like seven suspensions that they hand out at like four fifty eight on that Friday night, and it's like I think most of that had already like trickled out slowly during the week with the Isaiah Rogers news and all that stuff. But yeah, if you need to bury anything, just get it out there that Friday. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jay, or Billy, you're who's back? Uh, my who's back is the Coliseum and the forest fires. The smoke's back. Yeah. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Fucking. You, Do you know there's up, more. Billy? You know what I learned today? There's more trees in, in Canada than there are stars in the Milky Way. Damn. Is that true? Yeah. And uh, the Canadian. I went to a museum today. Up. Why, it's crazy. Why, why is Canada hogging all the trees? Yeah. It's fucking nuts. I wonder if it's not very what are you looking at me though? for, Hank? There's a shitload of trees in Canada. Are there more? Maybe less now than there were a couple weeks ago. That seems like an impossible stat. I, no. I thought so, too. I was at a fucking museum today. I saw some dinosaurs, Billy. Yeah, and they museum all pissed all the water. They pissed all the water. We checked that. They didn't one. see that fact. That's true. I, that I looked fact. it up after the show, and that is true. Who's yeah. doing the forest fires, Billy? Uh, the Canadians, and they won't put them out because... Also... Also at the museum, I took my kids. I had maybe the funniest, weirdest interaction. I met uh, our good friend Stavros's brother. He's fucking hmm. jacked. Is he really? Yeah. Yeah. So I, like, he was like, hey, what's up, big cat? And I was like, hey, what's up? And he's like, I'm Stav's brother. I was like, fuck, dude. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Which museum were you at? Uh, whatever. The, the natural. Oh, the natural history, history museum in New York? That, yeah, yeah. That's personally my favorite museum. Just wanted to put that out there. It is a cool museum. I went to the butterfly exhibit and I was like deathly afraid because I thought my son was going to just stomp on a bunch of butterflies. And they had like butterfly police there that were like, yeah. don't touch the butterflies, even though the butterflies were trying to touch us. Did- the butterfly museums and the butterfly sanctuaries are the best place to go when you're hungover. It's the most it- relaxing stroll of your life. It also just makes anytime you're looking at insects in a glass case, I just think of, of uh, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, well, this is fucked up because I went to the I went to the Chicago Zoo on Friday, checked out some of the animals. They've got this glass case. It's basically a closet that's filled with Madagascar hissing cockroaches, Ooh. and there's like tens of thousands of them in this closet. It's the most fucked up room in the world. Do you, do you hear something funny <laughs> on on most dangerous game? They served me a plate full of Madagascan hissing cockroaches, and I thought I was actually going to have to eat them. And then right before I picked one up and was about to like bite its head off, the bug guy came out of nowhere. I was like, "No, you're not actually supposed to eat those." And then I just had to, <laughs> then I just had to eat up blended up mealworms. Oh, okay, not eat the bad. bugs. Eat the bugs, yeah. Billy. Yeah. Do as you're told. Yeah. Wear your yeah. mask. It's fire. Fu- it's fires outside, Billy. You lib. Yeah. Uh, all right, Jake. You're who's back. Yeah, I don't know who's back. PFT hinted at it, but complaining about Twitter, uh, Elon dropped a new rule saying if you're if you're unverified, you can only read up to 600 tweets a day. But if you're a proud blue check mark holder like me, you can read up to 6,000. And I personally have not noticed a difference because I love having my blue check mark, and this is just another perk of that. Yeah. Okay, so the real who's back is just you bragging about it. <laughs> no, people were really pissed off about it. I loved it. I loved it. Anytime Elon can make like all of Twitter collectively be like, I'm quitting, follow me on Blue Sky. I, I think it's the funniest shit ever. Yeah. 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 It, 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 was, it was so funny because I think it, what happened was there was something that got fucked up with the back end of the system. And then he's like, well, no, that's just my new feature where you're not allowed to read all the tweets. And then all the <laughs> advertisers are like, Wait, if you're limiting access to viewing tweets, doesn't that mean that you're not going to sell enough? We're not going to have our ads shown to people. 
because those are limited too. And then Elon was like, oh, fuck, yeah, that's right. I guess I just better make half the timeline ads now. So now it's like every two posts I'm seeing, um, uh, what's his name, Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong and like his wife telling me to buy CDs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They Tommy get that Chong one all is the time. everywhere on Twitter yeah. right now. It's that one in the uh, All Quiet on the Western Front for like a month and a half. Yep. Seeing that movie. Um, okay. I actually muted I, I, my first block. I blocked Kate Hudson on Twitter because I got sick of seeing that, that Empires game that she was always advertising. Yeah. Oh, that game rocks. Maybe um, the least horny thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do um, – we're going to do Joey Chestnut. Then we're going to do Mount Rushmore baseball names. And then the baseball draft, which I'm very excited for everyone to listen to. Before we get to Joey Chestnut, he's brought to you by Rocket Money. We all know those catchy sayings. They go something like, try it free for 14 days. Just enough time to try it, and then you completely forget about it. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Chances are you're one of them. I'm one of them. I actually used Rocket Money not too long ago. Saved me a bunch. I've got all these subscriptions I completely forgot about signing up for. It does a great job. My old strategy used to be just lose your debit card once every couple of years, and then like a forest catching fire, that would naturally take care of all the apps that I have. Um, this is actually a much smarter, more proactive way to handle it. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money saving the average person up to 720 bucks a year. Rocket Money cancels your subscriptions for you, and uh, it's very simple. They find all the subscriptions, and then the ones that you don't want to pay for, just hit cancel. They cancel it for you. They also help manage your finances in one place. They automatically categorize your expenses so you can track your budget. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash take. That's rocketmoney.com slash take. Rocketmoney.com slash take. And now, here's Joey Chestnut. Okay, we now welcome on uh, one of our favorite recurring guests. It is Joey Chestnut, who I have called the greatest athlete in our time. I've said it every 4th of July, I think, for like the last decade that we are lucky enough to be alive when Joey Chestnut is competing. Uh, Joey, thank you for joining the show. Let's just get right to it. How are we feeling uh, a day before your big day? Like Ju July 4th is now Joey Chestnut's day. How are we feeling? Feeling great. Way better than last year. No cast. And I, uh, dude, I'm happy and hungry. Yes. Good. That's what I yes. like to hear. What's the number that we're going for this year? What is success oh, look like for you? That, that that record at 76, it, it could go down. Uh, the weather's looking a little bit iffy. They're, they're calling for thunderstorms. And it's it's been a long time since we've had rain, so I don't know what what uh yeah the hot dogs when they get cold they're hard to eat. So I'm I'm really hoping that there's no rain, but uh if it's good conditions, I, I see a record. Now, like what it. does what does rain do? Because we've had you on a few times, and obviously at one of the times we talked about the time I competed, which was seven years ago, and you you famously told me famously to me. Uh, that the the buns are looking fast today, and I was like, "How the fuck? Like, what? How? What does a fast bun look like?" So, what happens if it rains? Is that like, is this like uh, Tim Wakefield's knuckleball? Like, he needs the perfect weather. What happens to the buns if there's moisture in the air? Yeah. So if the, if the fast buns uh, mean they're not stale, if, if, if okay. some of the buns sometimes the buns are they just get stale fast. I don't know why, but uh, if they're stale, then they're not going to absorb the water quickly. But uh, if, uh, if if there's a storm, if, if they're raining on the hot dog, then the buns are going to be already kind of wet. So that they might those buns might be faster. But the, the, if the hot dogs get cold and then they get rubbery, the cold dogs are, are not good, and, and it's not ideal. So if you could design like a perfect morning of weather for the hot dog eating contest in order to like have optimal eating conditions, what would that be? A little overcast, eighty two degrees. Uh, it make sure that sun's not beating down and try drying out the buns, but, uh, also warm enough that you're sweating. It, sometimes it's hard to get, uh, your heart beating to eat. And so, yeah. so it's, uh, yeah, uh, you need a little bit of heat uh, so you're sweating and loose. So what are, what are we doing this week to, to train for the competition? Like what is, oh what God. is the, the final two days before a big contest like this look like for you? Yeah. So I, I had a little bit of, 
little salad for dinner, a protein supplement. Tomorrow's going to be a big cleanse. Uh, I might, I might feed a little bit, have, have some uh, over easy eggs or something tomorrow. But uh, really, it's going to be a liquid diet and go in Tuesday. Oh, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go in completely empty the day of the contest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, who is the competitor right now that you have your eye on, or is it just you? Are you just competing against yourself at this point because you're so much better than everyone else? No, no, I, I, uh, I'll never disrespect my competitor. These guys, uh, Jeff Asper, awesome eater out of Boston, and he's actually beaten me a bunch. And for some reason, he can't, he hasn't been able to put uh, put together a good performance in hot dogs, but. Uh, He's gonna see. Then one of these days, he's gonna surprise a lot of people, and I got I got to make sure that I'm not surprised, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be lazy, and I'm, I'm gonna. He, this this guy really can't eat 66, 67 hot dogs, but uh, it, he just hasn't put it together yet. What's What's the number? You said 76 is a record. But what's the number that like? You know, we'll never see a human being throw 110 miles an hour. Like it probably just won't ever be able to happen. What's the peak? for hot dogs where you're like all right this is the number that if i hit i'm pretty confident no human can ever touch this no it, I, I can't think of it that way uh as soon as i say my the, the absolute limit 85 and then somebody will come out and do 86 and then i've already mentally blocked myself i'll never be able to beat that guy uh so, infinity. so it, 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 right now it, 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 I'll, I, I could do 86 if somebody came out here and did 85 so uh, I'm, I'm not going to limit myself, and uh, it's, I'm sure one of these days some stud is going to come out and just push me. This is like why that. you're the greatest. This I is like why that. you're the greatest yeah. because that was a trick question, and you didn't fall for the trick. There is no limit. It's like you the four-minute no mile. Limit. They said the yeah. four-minute mile was impossible to run until Roger Bannister ran it, and now it's like okay, they just redefined what possible was. Yeah, this is uh, this hunger, the feeling, full of the feeling. I'm, I'm ignoring those feelings, and I'm, I'm just going to push it. I love it. Okay. Love it. So, yeah, so you, you're shooting for a record tomorrow. I, I hope that you get it. I mean, everyone's going to be rooting for you. Somehow you've managed to be both dominant and also universally beloved. Have you ever thought about that? Like most people, there's some fatigue that goes along with sustained bouts of success, and you've just dominated the sport of competitive eating, but people still love you. Oh, I, I, uh, there's definitely people who want to see me fail, and it, it, and I uh, – it, it is what it is. It, I, I've been really lucky that 4th of July, I, uh, I get a lot of support. And not necessarily pressure, but support. And that people are pushing me to to be my best. And, and I'm, I'm out there pulling. pulling they should put you on, on Mount best. Rushmore. That's how American, yeah, no, that's how American he, Joey Chestnut is. But it, I'm being serious, Joey. Like, I know you're a humble guy, and I appreciate that. But when I think of, like, the greatest athletes of all time, it's like, Michael Jordan, Secretariat, Tiger Woods, Joey Chestnut. I think that'd be my Rushmore right there. Like, is that so crazy? Do you like? Do you scoff at, at me putting you in the conversation with those guys? Because I truly believe it in my heart of hearts. Your dominance on July Fourth is so incredible and such a joy to watch. That's how I feel. <laughs> I, I, thank you, dude. I uh, there will be a lot of people who argue with you, but uh, right now I have to, I have to agree with you because I'm I'm pushing hard and I'm I'm I'm, I'm not gonna let anything stop me. You look like yes. you're in great shape right now. You look like you've been working out. Guns looking nice and swole. You look a little bit jacked up, Joey. I uh, yeah, I've been trying to work out. Well, last year I was I was so fat and soft, and because of the leg injury and multiple infections. So this year I've been working out, and uh, I, I put a, a lot of work into making sure that I can keep doing this in the future. So how so, are how are we testing yeah. the limits of what's possible in terms of eating hot dogs? Like there, you've been so dominant for so long that you have to be looking for like these tiny little edges, like saber metrics almost, like trying to find out a way that you can get better that other people haven't thought of yet. So what's been like the latest development in terms of your training regimen or what you're focusing on to get those extra couple dogs down? Yeah, I've been uh, uh, experimenting with a couple little things with my dunking liquid. You, you, traditionally, it's uh, just, just hot, warm water. So I've added a couple of little, little things that maybe help uh help digestion a little bit but uh right and then I, this year i also experimented with being a little bit ambidextrous because in the past <laughs> I, for so long i've been uh doing all my feeding with my left hand so yeah i couldn't quite perfect it I, I wanted to be able to do dunking with both hands and and 
I'm going to figure that out eventually. And that'll cut <laughs> some time off. But uh, this year, I'm, I'm, I, I feel really, I, I think my health right now is the biggest deal. So, wh- like, in terms of your career, where are you, uh, like, the longevity? How long do you think you can do this for? Because I, you still shock me, but, like, is this something that in 10 years we're going to have you on Pardon My Take, God willing, and we're going to be having the same conversation. We're going to be like, Joey Chestnut, you know, 20 years in a row. I hope that happens, but have you – is there any part of you that's seeing the end in sight? In sight, no. It, it, okay, twenty years is a little unrealistic, but I, I, I'm looking. Tom, Tom Brady did great at 45, and yes. I, uh, I, it, it's really hard to retire when you're on top. I, 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 yes, it, it's going to be. Uh, I, I'm going to ride ride the thing until the wheels fall off. I love it. I yeah. love it. You're, you're you're dominant, like Big Cat said. You are you are maybe the most dominant American athlete of this generation. Like, do you ever do you ever amaze yourself with how much you can eat? Are you ever like, oh, holy shit, that's incredible? Oh my god, yeah. There's been some times where, uh, like, I'm, I'm in, a, in a practice, in a practice, and I'm like five minutes in, and I'm more than fifty hot dogs in. I'm like, whoa, this is a little bit scary. I think I'm a, I might hit my limit before ten minutes. <laughs> so it's uh there's times where it's like things are just clicking perfectly and my breathing everything working together and i, I did it, it just it just it's almost it's not magic but it, it's just it feels good i love it there's the zone there's being in the zone for hot dog eaters too oh yeah <laughs> I, I, all right so i have one last question joey and and we will be rooting for you on on Fourth of July. Uh, it's the rowback question. R H O B A C K dot com. Use promo code Take twenty percent off your first purchase. Q zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, shorts, everything at rowback dot com. Promo code Take. Uh, so you said seventy six. Knowing what you're doing right now, we're taping this Sunday night. Do you think seventy seven? You got seventy seven in you on Tuesday. We want people to tune in, being like something special is going to happen. Can you? I, I'm not going to make you guarantee anything, Dude. but are you thinking that you are in a spot where 77 is is an oh, it's accompli- it's, like it's, it's doable? It's, it's doable. Yeah. It, it, but there, there's things out of my control. There could be silly protesters. There, there could be a, a thunderstorm. But uh, if, if 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 I'm feeling as good as I have last the last two weeks, and uh, it, it's I, I can do it. So okay, where, what are we looking for at like minute number eight? Where do you need to be for everybody that we're going to be watching at home being like, Joey said he could get 77 today. What's a good benchmark, like minute number eight, that you're within striking distance? Yeah, minute, minute eight. De- definitely, that, I, I like that 50 hot dogs in five minutes. It, it, it's really right right there. Minute eight, it, it depends. So sometimes my last minute, I'm doing six minutes, six. Sometimes I'm doing seven. Uh, if, I, if I'm, yeah, that. that that's sixty. If I'm at sixty-five, it, it, it'd be. I, I'm, I'm, it's almost guaranteed that, that I'm going to hit it. Uh, Sixty-three. It's getting closer. It, yeah. Okay. Okay. I like that. And uh, I guess last last question: uh, the night before, are you able to sleep, or are you just like a nervous wreck? Like, what time do you go to bed before you get up to eat seventy yeah, I, plus hot dogs? I try to get to bed at like nine, and I, I wake up at five. Uh, drink, drink my last like little water chug and count my gulps, make sure everything's fresh and loose. But uh, yeah, I, 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 I sleep well. I'm a fat okay. boy. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, Joey, uh, we love you, man. We're rooting for you on on Fourth of July. It's one of my favorite things. I will tweet it out again when you, you know, I'm not gonna say that you're gonna win, but when when you go out and put your best effort. That I was lucky enough to see Joey Chestnut in his prime. So uh, thank you as always, and best of luck on on Fourth of July. Oh, thank you guys. Great to be on with you again. Joey Chestnut was brought to you by the Barstool Sportsbook. That's right, the Barstool Sportsbook. We've got exclusive bets live every single day there. I've got my system. You can bet on the system going against John. What's his name? John Fisher, the owner of the Oakland Athletics, sticking it to that guy. Uh, we've got all these different barstool bets that are popping up all over the place. I w- actually took some of the NASCAR bets today, courtesy of Spider Large and the Rubbin' is Racing guys. Um, the Barstool Sportsbook is the easiest place to log on, get some action on the games. I'm looking at the exclusives tab right now. It looks like we've got Wimbledon odds boost. Venus Williams, Coco Goff, and Sloan Stevens all to win first 
round match that was plus 340. Now it's pumped up to plus 410. I'm locking it in right now. Let's ride. Here we go. Put some money on the tennis. Every game's a little bit nicer when you've got some action riding on it. Might as well put the action on the Barstool Sportsbook. Terms apply. Must be 21 or over. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Download and sign up for the Barstool Sportsbook today. Okay, before we do our baseball draft, we're going to do a Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore of baseball names. So it, just, these, it just occurred to me we're going to do about two and a half hours of just saying names of baseball yeah, players. Yeah. No, that's great. That's awesome. The Dinger Only League. Uh, we should make some shirts. Dingers, Dingers only. only. Yes, Dingers Only. Uh, so, baseball names. It's going to be player names. It's going to be the rules are you can do nicknames, but it has to be what the announcer called them. So, perfect example, Chipper Jones would count because it's his real name is Larry, but the announcers called him Chipper Jones. So, that would be a good example of a baseball name, a baseball nickname, uh, that counts. Everyone get it? Everyone on board? Mm -hmm. Everyone like it? Easy enough. Yeah. Hank, he's staring off into the abyss. Oh, my God. I'm good. Okay. Okay. So. I'm thinking. You're thinking. Thinking of names. We're going to list some fucking good ass names right now. Also, if you'd like to give a little, uh, you know, story of, of the person's name you say, that would work too. Uh, Billy and Jake, you are up first. You're on the clock. Mount Rushmore baseball names. One, oh, no. One. Oh, no. Are you going to say it? Yeah, I'm going to say it. Oh, no. Well, he's he's not vetoing. We have a really great relationship. <laughs> yeah, totally. I don't know why. Wait, who, guys... wait, wait. Who said you didn't? You guys don't understand what I'm saying. I thought that there's there's a pick that is clear that I wouldn't expect Jake to say. Go ahead. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. First pick. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Now... No, go ahead. Go ahead. See, I know what they're saying. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I should steal it. No. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Rusty Kuntz. Oh, that's, oh not that's, not that's not his name. That's not his name. What? Rusty Kuntz. That's not his name. His name's Rusty Kuntz. Rusty so Kuntz. I was right. No, but you have to say the pronunciation. No, it's pronounced Kuntz. No, it's Kuntz. So you don't get the All name right, then. So you don't Wait, get no, it. No, so no, it's no, no, Kuntz, 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 Kuntz. No, no, no. Kuntz, 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 Kuntz. Rusty Kuntz. All right, so you guys get Rusty Kuntz. Why is that a cool name? Well, on the graphic, it's K U N T Z. Well, but we're going to phonetically place everyone. Oh, so we're changing the rules. Yeah, no, that's not. No, we always do phonetics. No, we don't. We always do phonetics. The guy's name is no, Rusty Kuntz. We got, we got the one. His name, his name is Kuntz. Yeah. Okay. Great. He fell for my trap. Nope. You guys fell for mine. Oh. I, we, we, I was not going to say, say, say that. Say Kuntz. Say Kuntz. No. Then it doesn't count. Okay. Say Kuntz. Rusty Kuntz. No, because then you don't get credit. Kuntz, Kuntz, Kuntz. No, no, no. Jake has to say it. <laughs> Billy said it enough. Jake, say his name. Kuntz, Kuntz, Kuntz. No, I'm, I'm a professional. I say it how it's pronounced. All right, so then when people are voting, please remember that you're voting for Rusty Kuntz. It's actually Kuntz. not that cool of a name. Yeah, it's not that cool of a name. At all. It won't no. count. You can't vote for Rusty Kuntz just, unless you just say, say it. it. Just say it. No. <laughs> say it. Come on, just no, say this it. is it's Ray not. Allen part two. No, it's not. Just say it. <laughs> Say, All right, so pretend, say it in an Australian accent, no, then it doesn't count. For it. Please, right. everyone know when you vote for it. <laughs> Cunts. 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 Say it doesn't uh, count if you say it in English or Australian. All right, so accent. when you're voting for it on yeah, the poll, so this is them trying to rig the poll. Because, no, yeah, Hank knows what I'm talking about. No, we're voting. It's sickening, Jake. We're yeah, voting. It's ridiculous. For, we're voting for what you said. Yeah, which is R U S T Y space K U N T Z. Say the name. Rusty Coons. Okay, so that's what you should vote for. Rusty, Rusty Coons. Okay, Cunts. They're gonna win because the graphic's not gonna. Un you can't. You can't put context on that graphic. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't really know how to go here. I'm just gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Coco Crisp. Okay. Good okay. name. Solid Great name. name. Great name. Great name. On our list. On the list. Feel like I might have left something off the board there, but it's a great name. It's a great name. Now nah, they're name. just gonna. I don't do think a it bunch of players that nobody knows who they actually are. Uh, that's, that's not yeah. true. Not yep. at all true. Oh, that's not true. Uh, PFT, let's we got we got the whole board in front of we us. We got a lot to work with here. Because we never would stoop to doing Rusty Kuntz. No, I I like um That like, is a that I is think a, we go like I, no I one like knows 16 Rusty Kuntz. And three. Six, little this yeah. and that. Little, yeah, little yeah. pepper and salt and pepper. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You go first. All right. Uh our first pick will be Pete Lecoq. Pete Lecoq. Oh. Yeah. 
Sounds like a fake Pete person. Pete Lecoq. Well, wait till you hear our next pick. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Pete Lecoq. I feel like if no one knows these people, like it's it, no. I like, I like our strategy. Like, I like our strategy. Let them go. It's cool for the graphic. Like it's Pete Lecoq. I'm sorry, you don't know. Who did Pete Lecoq play for? For the Cubs. Yeah, the Cubs. Easy. And the Royals. When? So we're in the fucking 70s, dude. It wasn't that <laughs> long ago. I, I take what? your... <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. What position did he play, PFT? I, he, he was a utility guy. He was a guy. lefty lefty. <laughs> I, uh, First base. <laughs> I take your uh, Pete LeClock. Wait, you, well, it's not your turn. It's not so our turn. You're not even close to being up right now. Snake Billy, snake. Ah, fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh, for a second. Maybe the maybe the best also, player. Just a fun little Pete Lecoq story. Uh, the final appearance for Hall of Fame pitcher Bob Gibson. Pete Lecoq grand slam off of him. Wow, who could forget? Yeah, Pete Lecoq. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's you can't not laugh about that. No, By the way, Pete's right. He was a first baseman. So yeah, we exactly. know our Pete Lecoq. Lefty, lefty. <laughs> yeah, you can't you can't not laugh when I well, say Pete Lecoq. It's funny. All right, yeah. e easy second pick for us. Maybe the best player on this list. Mm -hmm. Yogi Berra. Great fuck. One. Great name. Is Absolutely that, fantastic. Do you guys name. not know who that is? <laughs> I was I said, fuck. I'm gonna be honest, I was gonna I was thinking Yogi Berra before he said Rusty. Oh wow, you yeah. then you get credit for it. Yeah. yeah. Not. It was in my bet. It was in my head. Okay, Billy. Oh, no, no, we're no, not in. We're not in. We're not in. Trying to get him to go. <laughs> great picks, PFT. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Max just got, gave me the worst. Pete LeCock and Yogi Berra. I'm 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 I wish run for him. We gotta get the video of the look that Max just gave me because it was what? It was dire. He was just like yeah, because he knows uh, Pete Lecoq just fucking slams. All right, well, then I'm just going to go with my heart. I'm going to go with the guy I love the most. You said, you know, name a story if you got him. Came to the Red Sox in the trade deadline. Used to jump through the ceiling, make unbelievable plays, shortstop, mm -hmm. second baseman, Pokey Reese. Mm, mm. Good name. Okay, good great name. name. Good name. Great, great fielder. Great, great vibes guy. 2004 world champion. Near and dear to my heart. Nick Terrini also randomly is a huge Pokey Reese fan, which the we've, we've truly bonded over. Like, He's when he there, came yeah. in, it was like wearing, I was like, are you wearing a Pokey Reese fucking jersey? He was like, yep. And I was like, you're a man, you're a man after my heart. He's yeah. Like, Pokey so, yeah. Pokey Reese. Good pick. Probably not great for the graphic, but hey, good for what, my heart. Hey, guys, what position did Rusty Cunts play? No idea, but the graphics all in oh, that. Oh, 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 I don't give sad. a fuck. Sell out. Sad. Sad. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. You have two picks. Yeah. So, uh, first pick, uh, take your Pete LeCock and raise you with a Johnny Dick shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. When did he play? Don't give a fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what, is this so a baseball how trivia? How did you thing? get his name, Billy? Yeah. Where'd how did you get his we name? We looked it up. Did, yeah. We looked. Okay. We, yeah. We did oh, research. You, you let Bleacher Report pick your team. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, I could have. All the teams, all the names it's, we're picking, we knew off the top of our head. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Is I don't. This, I don't hate. I don't it, hate this strategy. I, I, think, I think the graphic of, people will. That's all that matters. We should just say team. Team. Do we want to start over? Bleacher Report. Do we want to start over no, no, no. and do Mount Rushmore <laughs> baseball players you watched in your lives? You guys no, just salty no, that no, we no, got your first. No, pick. We well, just everyone know knows more. about Lecoq. No, we, we know more knows than you guys. Of course, everyone knows Lecoq. Yeah, everyone knows Lecoq. Yeah. Um. All right. Fine. Fine. You don't want us to go with no, no. Go with whatever you want. No, go with whatever you want. No, you. You go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll go. We'll go active for you. Is that okay with you guys? Uh, whoa, Jesus. is that okay? Whoa. Yeah, whoa. is that okay? Whoa. I like. All you had to do was say cunts. Mookie Betts. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that's a better name than Pokey Reese. Yeah, great yeah. name. Betts. Great name great for name. a dog. Active player. Everyone knows who he great, is. Great, great pick. Great pick. Thank you. It's contentious. <laughs> it's very contentious. I like it. I like uh, it. I'm also Mac again. Mac, I'm, I'm Max is out. Not passing the ball today. Oil can Boyd. Mm. Mm, Did okay. they call him Oil Cam Boyd on the when he was the announcers? I feel like they did. They did when he was I at think, the Brockton Rocks. I think they did. I okay. think if you go to the Baseball Hall of Fame, you see Oil Cam yeah. Boyd. Okay, if that counts. I, I mean, I have other ones, if not, but that that no, no, one that one counts. He played like the Bro Brockton's like a town. His name was Dennis. Yeah, there's no way they called him Dennis. <laughs> no, you're right. I never heard Dennis Boyd. So yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. Good pick. Good pick. But he played. Uh, he did like the. It was like a I mean, single A, maybe not even. Uh, what Love do they call it? Pick. International League. Yeah. Uh, and he pitched when he was like 60 in Massachusetts for the Brockton Rocks. Legend. Okay, PFT, we got a lot we can go from. Yeah, we've got some uh, down towards the end of the list. The last guy still remaining. Yeah, I like 15, 17, and I also uh, am a fan of six. So you, you, you go with your gut. 
Mm. There's a lot of good names. I think I'm. I think I numbered my list differently than you numbered. Oh your shit! List. Did I not send you the you numbered didn't list? Send it to me. Fuck. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that was nice bad synergy. By us. I thought I did. No, it's fine. It's, I've got a numbered list too, but I think it's different from what Big Cat. We just have at. a slightly different numbered list. Jake and I have a really awesome shared doc here because we're on the same page. No, we feel good about ours. No, you don't. I was thinking 15, 15 17, and 6. Okay. But what, what are you thinking? What do you like? I like Al Albuquerque. Yeah, Al Albuquerque. Shout out Mike Francesa. Yes, Alberto Mike Francesa. Jose Albuquerque. Yep. Great fucking clip. Can we put that clip in? Mike Francesa. No, no, that's, P, that's a PED. What? That's a PED. You're hearing somebody else say it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last pick for us. Uh, we're going to go with a Minnesota twin. One of my favorite names out there. Boof Bonzer. Boof Bonzer. Pitcher. I love saying his name. I remember him playing. Don't you worry, Jake. Don't get your fucking I'm not accusing doctors you guys of all wrinkled. You guys wrinkled. are the ones that came at us. Boof Bonzer. Our last pick. Go ahead, Hank. Or Max. Uh, our last pick. Where's my list? Oh, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with a cinematic one. Okay. Moonlight Graham. Okay. Hmm. What's your yeah, favorite Moonlight yeah. Graham highlight? Yeah. So on the same uh, page. Probably Field of Dreams. Okay. Where's it really? Moonlight Graham. That was the whole premise of Field of Dreams. I got to shoot list Joe Jackson. No, Moonlight Graham was the guy that uh, was the was the pitcher, the ghost. Oh, okay. Remember? Yeah, sure. Moonlight Graham. It's been a while since I saw that one. Is that Angels in the Outfield? No, that's a great movie, though. There are a lot of great baseball movies, aren't there? So Mo many. More than any other sport, in my opinion. Depth-wise. Yeah. How Little many, ga how many games my do you think Moonlight Graham played? I think in the movie, Moonlight Graham, like he played one game and then one. he died. One. He, he played, one game, the he played yeah. one game and then he died he heroically. No, he didn't die. Or no, he, he lived for like 60 more years. Something happened. That he was like the hero of that movie. <laughs> he had to like, he maybe went to war yeah, or something. Yeah, he was the doctor. Can we, right? have, yeah. It yeah. The, can we have it in the graphic? One game played? Which war? The Civil War? He was born in... Moonlight Graham is a real person. Let's not worry about my history. Everyone knows who Moonlight Graham is. There's no way they introduced him as Moonlight Graham when playing one game. Which? Moonlight fight on. One he's game. in the Moonlight movie. Graham. Yes, he's he's, a, he's, an, he's, he's a real in a player. major motion picture as the Moonlight Graham. The announcers, I think the actors, picking, called because him Moonlight Graham. You're picking the guy from the movie. Yeah, but he's a real guy in Based real life. Based off of okay. a player who played in the major leagues. Moonlight Graham is a great game. pick in Europe. Moonlight, Moonlight Graham would great pay pick. fucking shuttlecock up. Did anybody see the movie? Facts. <laughs> Facts. With the chimp and Joey Tribbiani, and the chimp was playing baseball. Yeah, Ed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, what's That's your last dope. pick? Um, Goose Gossage. Okay, good pick. Noble Mustache pick. played for the Yankees. Know who he is? Yes, you mm -hmm. do. Didn't see him play, but if that's okay with you guys, That's a good pick. We'll, we'll Big spitball guy. He was a cheater. Yeah. I hope you're okay with that. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what he was yeah. known for. He lubed that ball up. All right, good draft. What do we miss? There's a shitload that we missed. There are some great names out there. Dizzy Dean. It's a good one. Randy Johnson. Yep. Al Kaline. Alkaline. Mm -hmm. Oral Hershiser. The Oral Hershiser is a great name. It is. Also, I, we were saying we were walking over because PFT and I did this just off the top of our heads. Barry Bonds is a great name. Barry Bonds is a great name. I know that maybe it's because he's so good, but Barry Bonds is a great name. So is yeah. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth's mm -hmm. great yeah. name. Yeah. Great fucking name. Name a candy bar after him. Unesky Betancourt is always fun to say. Ooh, that's a good one. Ryan Sandberg oh. we had on there. Milton Bradley. Milton Bradley. Uh, you guys, did you guys only have four? Willie Mopena. Yeah, it's that's a good a name. Good one. You should have used that one. I like Mo Vaughn, too. Yeah, Mo Vaughn's a good, a good one. He's like Pee Wee Reese. He's not Les Vaughn. Who is Pee Wee Reese? <laughs> he was uh, a little guy. Pee Wee Reese Jackie is the Robin guy who, yeah, who yeah. put his arm around Jackie Robinson. Yeah. He's ended racism in America. Max said that and inspired me to pick Pokey. Yeah. Because of, oh. It just made me think Yeah, of, Reese. Yeah. Dusty yeah. Baker is a good name, too. If you, oh, if yeah. you, it, there are some hilarious ones from way back in the day. Uh, if you just, I just Googled best names. Pretzel Pizzullo. <laughs> he played in the, for the Phillies. <laughs> let's make some, let's, let's just like make up some ones. Like Bunny Spit, Brief. Like Spitshine Louie. Yeah. The, no, these are some, some of these are just Bill, Bill M Malarkey. Phenomenal Smith. <laughs> Phenomenal Smith. 1884 to 1891. Oh, this one's good. Orville Overall. <laughs> <laughs> some of these are fucking hilarious. Mudcat Grant. 
Oh, that's good. That's uh, a good one. Mordecai Three Finger Brown. Oh, this one's hilarious. Uh, playing second base, third base, and shortstop from 1943 to 1952, Snuffy Sternweiss. <laughs> Snuffy Sternweiss. Possum. Uh, I don't even know how to say last name. <laughs> Stubby Clap. That was 2001. I don't remember Stubby Clap. I like Tug McGraw, too. Tug McGraw's a great one. Mysterious Walker. Um, there's a great name. There's a football player that's going to be probably playing college football next year for University of North Texas. His name is Mo M O H, last name Billity. Mo I like that. There's I a mean, guy- D- Dice K is a great name, yeah, yeah it especially is. for a pitcher. Yep. Oil Slick McGee, 1915 to 1916 for Max's Philadelphia Phillies. Bud Weiser. Oh, <laughs> that's his name. He's woke, but we love Coors Light. We do love Coors yeah. Light. Razor shines. <laughs> Dick Pohl. These are some chicken hawks. Some of the old names. That's not a real name. <laughs> Cannonball Tickcum. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember old CT. Cannonball Tickcum. What a fucking name. <laughs> uh, Peekaboo Veach. Uh, yeah, baseball's just gone for a long, long time. All right. Good Mount Rushmore. You guys, did you guys have Good any? Good job, work? everyone. Great job, Jake, even though you got very upset. Thank you. Yeah, Rusty you guys, cunts. Yeah, very upset. Just say it. Just say Rusty Cunts. I got upset with you guys. Say Rusty Cunts. No. All right, so everyone vote. Remember, you're voting for yep. Rusty Cunts. There it is. Pank gaslighting. No, it's not gaslighting. Say the name that you want people to vote for. Tyre Alfredo. Well, luckily oh. in this competition, that doesn't matter. Jake, Tyre Alfredo? I, I, you I just, just made that up. Idea for the new studio. <laughs> I've been making them up the whole time. <laughs> Jake, I'm just curious why people would vote for Rusty Cunts. Why is that a fun name? Right. Because it sounds like an inappropriate word that you guys have been saying. It doesn't really sound like one. You're being a real like cunt one. about this. Okay, fine. <laughs> Just fine. say it. <laughs> no, if I say it now, I definitely cave. I have to stand on my ground. All right, everyone just remember, you're voting for Rusty Koontz. Maybe do on the, on the, uh, maybe have it K O O O O. No, no, no. No, no, that's O O O O N T S. It's the sanctimonious. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, time for the baseball draft. Okay, it is time for our uh, baseball draft dingers only, and it's brought to you by our friends at Coors Light. Everyone thinks about the day they'll eventually get to retire and enjoy all the freedom that comes with it, but who says we have to wait decades before we get to kick ball and chill out? Take advantage of that free will and spend the summer chilling like a retiree and pair those moments with Coors Light, the beer that's made to chill. It's the beer that's made to chill pairs well with a retired state of mind. We were drinking some Coors Light during our baseball draft. It was Hank's birthday. I would tell everyone who's listening, might as well kick back, have a little beer, have a little Coors Light, listen to some dudes talk some baseball. So it's perfect for all your summer plans or lack thereof. No judgment here this summer. Chill like you're retired with Coors Light. Get Coors Light delivered straight to your door with Chisley or Instacart by going to Coors Light. Dot com slash take celebrate responsibly Coors Brewing Company Golden Colorado Coors Light dot com slash take delivered straight to your door to your Instacart by going to Coors Light dot com slash take. Thank you to Coors. We are going to do a little retiree this week. We won't have another episode until Friday with Dungeons and Dragons, but please do enjoy our MLB dingers only baseball draft presented by Coors Light. Okay. It is time. We promised the AWLs we would be doing a fantasy baseball league this year, and we are ready to do it. I'll just say this right now, PFT. This could be a true test of who's a real AWL and who's not. We have the takeys coming up. Um, This could be the worst thing we do. Well, it could be, or it could be the best thing that we do, because what we've done is we've snatched fantasy sports back from the nerds yes we're taking it to the real jocks that understand how to play ball and we've changed the rules a little bit yeah it's not it's not complicated you don't need to bring decimal <laughs> points into sports we've we we have a new 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 league it is everyone on part of my take uh evan and shane who work behind the scenes are co-owning a team memes is also here so there's eight teams total and the league is called dingers only and it's very simple to follow Everyone has, there's 10 rounds. Everyone has to pick one position player from each position. And then you also get a 10th pick, which I will explain in a second. But the rules are simple. Dingers. The only stat is dingers. If you hit a home run, that's a point. That's it. 
That's the whole game. Doesn't matter the type of home run. Doesn't matter the type of home run. There's no pitching. There's nothing. It's dingers only. Dingers. Dude. It's who has the most dingers at the end of the fantasy baseball league. We're playing rotisserie style, so it'll just be all eight teams listed. Whoever's got the most dingers is the winner. And then the one wrinkle, PFT, would you like to say it? Yeah, this is what I'm very excited about. We get one other player, one extra player in a unique position. So this extra player's position, their home runs don't count. Do not We're count. not counting dingers for this extra player. The only stat that will be counted for the extra slot is hit by pitches. So you're going to get one person, and then you're going to just root for them to get beaned because every time they get hit by a pitch, it counts as what, 10? 10. 10 points as opposed to everything else, which is one point. So that's really the wild card. Is yes. If you pick a guy that gets beaned, and just honestly rooting for a guy to get hit by a pitch is going to be awesome. Yes. And uh, so, yeah, if you're listening to this right now, it is July 3rd. Uh, we are starting the league on July 3rd. Nothing else matters prior to this. Yeah, we're drafting the league in early June or mid-June. Now, if your player, if you draft a player today and they get hurt before July 3rd, you are allowed to switch one player out if there's an injury that happens. That, that, that doesn't matter if it's before or after. You get There's no ads or drops in the entire league except for the one time injured. Okay, so if a guy gets injured, you get one time. If you have two guys get injured... You only can replace one of them. Shingers only. And your your team is your team. There's no changing. There's no picking up players. There's no. Should we do trades? Yeah, we yeah we can. Yeah, do we trades. can have trades. Trades are allowed. I don't see how anyone would trade. <laughs> uh, but it is the simplest fantasy baseball league that you could possibly follow. It's dingers only parentheses and one guy who gets hit by pitches. Well, well, if there is a trade, it would be hilarious because you'd only be allowed to trade. The same position for another position. So I could only Correct. trade my shortstop to somebody for another shortstop, and then someone got fleeced. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. We, oh, we have to do trades. We're drafting positions. Positions. Yeah, it's oh. Not, it's not oh, no, Hank. Because regular fantasy Hank's baseball, a- I think, is outfield, right? Yeah. I mean, it was just maybe, maybe, oh, Hank. Maybe Hank? the easiest league to track yeah. of all time, and Hank's draft strategy is <laughs> out the window. I was and just Hank going told, for dingers. Hank told us beforehand, he's like, I've got this. I have a system that is going to break this league. Yeah, that that disregard. I mean, it was it couldn't have been more simple when we were talking about. Well, it. I thought it was literally Every just position. dingers. No, everyone's gonna have a second baseman. Everyone's gonna have a third baseman down the line. It's binary. Is it a dinger? Or is it not a dinger? And right. it's all ball. All right. Yes. Yeah, I got yeah. no ball. Also, we're drinking some forties of Coors Light while we do it. Yes, because it is Hank's birthday. That will date when we're drafting. This is gonna be funny to watch. This is gonna suck to watch our like if you draft tonight and your guy just goes hot, dingers and none yeah. of them count. Wasted dingers. Nothing worse. Should we count right away? Isn't we just there, no. Let's see? count right. Isn't yeah. there a Twitter no, uh, Twitter account that's just yeah a home run tracker? Yeah, you have to turn notifications on starting July third. Actually, would be kind of funny if we started counting tomorrow night and we just then on July third we had an updated leaderboard. Yeah, do you want to do that? That's dope. Whoa. Let's do it. <laughs> down. Down. Okay. So all right, all right. So, <laughs> so, so we're gonna count the stats starting tonight. So Wednesday, June fourteenth. June fourteenth will be the start of the stats. <laughs> I like it. I love it. We're going to be rooting and no one else will know. Yeah, that's fine. And so it's just strictly based on points. It's not head-to-head matchups. Yeah, so actually, this is great because people are July 3rd, they're going to, like, no one can be invested on game one of the MLB season. No one can be invested when it's zeros all around. On July 3rd, we're going to reveal the leaderboard. Right. So we can't tweet about it or anything the next three weeks. No, you can't say a word. Yeah, we can talk in our group chat. Yeah, you can update it and send it to us. Yeah. Uh, I love that. You know okay. What? I'll make this league, this link public where people can't edit. They can just view it. So they can, I'll update it daily and they can see. Mm-hmm. You mean when, when we go live? Yeah, on July 3rd, yeah, yeah. I'll, yes, I'll, yes. I'll tweet out this link. That we're you should just tweet channel. out a leaderboard every morning from part of my team. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. Singers yeah. only league. All right, last thing before we start the draft. Of course, because we're doing this and we're competing against each other, we have to have a punishment. And I think this one will be, we, we try, we've we tried to do punishments that, We'll pay off for the AWLs. So the bowling one was eye-opening. How many people? Thank you to everyone who watched it live. We obviously have the Mount Rushmore, where the losing team is going to have to do uh, the solitary confinement with each other. And this one is we're, we're, it's going to take a little logistical work, but I think we can pull it off. The loser of this league, we're going to find a college baseball team, most likely Northwestern in Evanston. And the loser of this league has to get six outs against Northwestern. Pitching. Pitching. Yeah. 
So they have to pitch six outs, and we're going to full in, inning of outs. We're going to be in the field a little bit too. Yeah, we're going to have we're going to have p- the the outfield will be a combination of us. So loser has to pitch, and second second place has to catch. Mm-hmm. Second place has to catch. Loser has to pitch, and that will be quite something. It will be. I I'm already calling it. Max is going to have to catch. Yeah. He just looks like a catcher, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Look like a catcher. He crawled out of the wound just with a, a chest pad on and shin protectors. Wait, so if there's that like dropped third strike thing, yeah, well, not, we don't have to worry about that. Well, will you, yeah, if you're uh, the catcher. Well, but do you think anyone's gonna strike anyone out? Yeah, Billy totally could. I'm gonna end up hurting myself throwing this ball. Oh no! Better help. <laughs> yeah. You have enough medicine to dude. I'm, yourself up. I'm gonna like have to get Tommy John if I lose this. Okay. They probably would struggle finding the plate. Yeah, after hit that somebody ball after that wiffle ball pitch. Oh my that, god, that's I different. I thought about like, that. that was one of my favorite clips of all time. Oh, oh trying to throw no, a ball. I, I, I get a hold of the ball. Six, seven feet. I, was I get a hold of the ball for the first for time. July fourth. That'll be a good July fourth post. It will be. Yeah. The best part is too. Oh, we, how come we didn't use that clip for Zach Wilson throws this year? Oh, <laughs> that would have been perfect. The best part is I blame you. The best part is with the second place, like it's you can't do anything. You can't change. You can't sit anyone. You mm-hmm. can't do anything. Yep. Your team is your team. Jeez. So it's gonna. Oh, be you could trade. Yeah, you can trade. You could trade. You could trade to you get trade. That that might be a strategy. Like if someone's in last in the second, that. I don't think you understand the concept of the trade, though. You'd have to trade a position for the same position. If someone Do worse. injured. Yeah. yeah. Trade for an injured player. Okay, so that will hopefully be one of the best videos we ever do. Someone trying to get six outs against uh, a college baseball team while the rest of us are in the outfield. Um, okay. We also have TJ here. I, TJ, I would like you to do one thing for us. Um, after each round, can you just give us a quick, uh, like, 20 second draft grade yeah right. so we can grade as we go i like it uh and then i think that's it i think that's all the rules the only other thing we had was in the 11th round so it's a 10 round draft the 11th round we'll all pitch one we'll all pick one pitcher which will only be for tiebreakers so if there's a dead tie for last place the the tiebreaker will go to uh strikeouts of your pitcher your, mm-hmm. your, so it's he's the pitcher has nothing to do with it and unless a tiebreaker comes into play uh okay draft order you have a deck of cards i've got a deck of cards so you want to just do high card yeah let's do high card dra- I, i'd say high card gets to pick uh the draft order we should probably try to go in a circle yeah because it will get confusing other go around yeah okay all right big cat what's your your yeah i know i want i want you want to just pick a card I got the king. Oh, that's Shit. a good card. Is hey. Ace high or low? Hank, Ace you want me to just reach in? Yep. I think Big Cat has high card. Hank got an eight. Max, this is going to be a bad <laughs> podcast Jake. episode. Just let it go. Jake got a five. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an Ace. Give Billy. me an Ace. Fuck. Yeah. I got a Jack. Max. This is higher, right? Yeah. Six. Are we doing it by that's the order? Memes has his own oh, team. Oh, we're gonna go in we're gonna go in. Yeah, memes his own team. Memes. How would you guys rank the the suits? Nine. And what happens if like spades, spades is, best. is the best? Ace of spades best card there is. So someone else and gets then this is, I win. This is me. I got a four. All right, so Max, you were right. What's what's two, three, four? Fuck, I don't want to go first. Matt, you gotta do Shane and Oh, you got to do Shane, Shane and Shane in heaven. Yeah, Shane heaven. If he gets Ace of Spades, you got to turn your mic up. Oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't. Think oh, so. oh! oh! <laughs> all right. So Matt or Shane and uh, Evan, you guys get to decide where you want to go in the draft order, and then we'll just go in a circle around that. And, and I'll say this about Shane. Shane's Shane's the newest guy on, on the team, and he every time I'm walking by his desk, he's got multiple games up. He's he's a, he's oh, he's a, a seam head. Oh, yeah, he's a sneaky. Youngest Sneaky team head, and Youngest Evan Evan does our YouTube stuff. He's great, uh, except for that one time he had it up late. That you can blame Evan. Uh. <laughs> some tech, some technical difficulties. Right there. <laughs> Evan, this is actually the healing process is to get roasted. Yeah, that's when we feel good. And Shane, if everyone remembers, Shane is fantastic behind the scenes guy. Created the greatest A of all time on a T-shirt. <laughs> Uh, that he, A. He's our Photoshop guy. Yeah, people he's the are guy still that made, about the A. made all, all the Lamar Jackson Photoshops, which took 
like two hours a piece. Yes. All right. So time. Shane and Evan, what, what pick do you want? You pick. Three. You're going three. We'll go three. <laughs> <That's> three. <strategy. laughs> All right. So it's right, no, that works. That works. Too much pressure going first. <laughs> yeah. No, that works. So memes, you go first. Let's go. Max will go second. Shane and Evan will go third. Billy fourth, and we'll go around the room. Okay. So in a snake draft. Damn. That it. way we can, we need to stay in a circle because otherwise we're fucked. Don't you agree? Yeah. 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 Agree. Yep. yep. There's, the there's no way we're gonna remember if we. Wait. Jump so I'm, I'm just picking last. Yeah, yeah, but then you get two in a row. I yeah. get I'm, I'm fine. Fucked. Okay, all right. So snake. Yeah, snake draft. Why are you fucked? Because it's a snake draft. Everyone's equal. Fine. Everyone's out to get. That's you. That's the whole know, point of a snake like, draft. I like getting too close together. How quickly do you think we're gonna get through the draft before we start picking guys who've already been picked? I've, I've got. Years? I'm on top of this. But still, uh, how picks, quickly? Four picks. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know if my guys are still playing. <laughs> <laughs> really all right, Derek G. Eames, let's go. Again, the worst thing we've ever done. Let's try to do it quickly. Let's do a, let's do let's let's do quick picks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Also, say their position. I'm gonna take Otani. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ota- o- right oh wow, Max. Otani's DH. DH, right? Yeah, yeah. DH. Max took Schwarber. Max took Schwarber, left field. Am I writing in all the picks, or are we each writing it on our computers? I think you're writing it on the picks. <laughs> all right, then we got to slow it down a little bit because I'm color coding them. Yeah, okay, Max. I think you're out. writing in all the okay, picks. Okay, hold on, hold on. Wait, maybe we should make everybody write in their own picks. Good pick. Good pick. I was shocked that he had 46 home runs last year. Dude, he's a fucking beast. Schwarber. I know. That's just a, that's a lot. Oh, position. Both are good picks. Oh, Ota- uh, Schwarber's a left, left fielder. Field. We can help you with this. All right, memes and Evan, or sorry, Shane and Evan. We're gonna go Matt Olson. Okay, first right. baseman, Atlanta Braves. Never heard of him. <laughs> big fan really? of the podcast. <laughs> Is he? Love him. He, he I, went as big cat for say, Halloween. I've one. never heard. We gotta of him. get him on. I mean, like I've never heard of him because I just stare at him all the time because that's how much I love him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Matt Olson, AWL. Let's get him on the show. Can we get him on the show? Matt Olson's probably like. Who the fuck are Shane and Evan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on their team? That's not yellow. Singers only. All right, Billy, you're up. I'm going uh, either with Huey. Je- oh, no. Uh, Aaron Judge. Here you okay. go. You can't say Aaron either. Judge. That was. <laughs> Huey, Huey Jennings uh, has been hit the most. To- All right, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Okay. Uh, I'll go with the leader at the time of this recording, Pete Alonzo. Who's hurt? Good pick. Nice pick. Pete Alonzo. He's out for like five <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Great. That's tough hey. start for Jake. Yeah. Start for Jake. I, if I had said Huey Jennings, would you guys have made me have Huey Jennings? Yeah. Yes. It would yeah. make you have the person you drafted. Yes. When you say a name, uh, that's your draft. Huey Jennings pl- played in the 50s. Okay. Uh, He's been hit 280 times in his career. So you looked up an old? I was just looking at who's been hit the most. <laughs> and and then, so you were going to pick a guy who's been who's I, dead. I forgot. Uh, Craig Biggio. Okay. Uh, Hank. Uh, this is a no-brainer. I'm just going based off the people, the highlights I want to see, uh, the dingers I want to see the most. Vlad Jr. Ooh, yeah, great good swing. One. Vlad good Jr. one. He hits the ball. He hits the ball. I want, I want to get tagged in those tweets. I want to see the videos. Give me all of his dingers. I'm 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 going the same way, Hank. Uh, former Cub. I'll go Jorge Soler mm-hmm. for the Marlins. I f- he fucking hits nukes. Can't play in the cold though. That's not a problem, Miami. Not a problem at all. That was the best when it, in like April, he would he would be wearing like a a wetsuit, <laughs> trying to hit dingers. Okay, uh, PFT, you have two picks. I got two picks, back to back. I'm going to go, first of all, Jordan Alvarez. Nice. He's a big mashing boy, too. When, when he mashes, best. the haters get smashed. Also hurt. Fuck! But he's a DH. <laughs> That's okay. How hurt is he? Uh, the, MRI. MRI is, oh, what no. I, is what I see. <laughs> he had a dinger the other yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, because no, I, I wanted to take him, too, and then I looked it up earlier, and it was like, oh, yeah. Will the Astros be able to compete without you? Welcome to the club, He might not be back till after the All Star break. This <laughs> <laughs> oh. is fucking Adalberto Mondesi all over again. That was, you know what, PFT? Can I just say that when you picked it, I was pissed I didn't pick him. Yeah. So I also didn't know it was a nice pick. It was a good yeah. pick. I mean, 
that home run in the World Series, iconic. Yeah. It was. Was. Okay. All right. I'm going. That's your DH pick? That's my DH pick. Uh, I'm going to take my hit by pitcher guy. Ooh. At shortstop, I'm going Josh Smith from the Texas Rangers. Ooh. This guy loves to get hit by baseballs. He loves it so much. And I also looked up the list, and he follows me on Twitter. So that's basically why I picked him. Josh Smith, I'm, I'm going to be rooting so hard for you to get hit. Dude, and it's, it's 10, 10 like, points. Here's worth one hit by pitches. All right, I was wondering if this is like a kicker situation where you want to save it or not. Yeah, I know. It's like, is there going to be a run now? We don't really know. <laughs> Does his home runs count? No. No. I'm about to follow Josh Smith no. right now. He's going to be like, why did PFT just follow him? You'll find out, Josh. You'll find out in due time, my friend. Okay, I am going to. Now I'm worried about injured guys. How do you search whether a guy's 08? Oh, oh. oh, wait. Josh Smith's last tweet was, thank you to everyone who reached out and sent prayers. I'm doing fine and will hopefully be back on the field no soon. No way. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> April 4th. So he's back. So oh, okay. He's back. He probably got hit by a pitch. <laughs> he's back. He's back. He's all the way back. Uh, okay. I'm caught oh, up. my God. No, he got, hit in, he got hit in the head with a pitch. Oh. And, was, and everybody <laughs> thought that he was going to die. All right, this is bad. This is a bad start to my draft. Should we do 20 points for concussion? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now I got to root for this guy to keep getting beaned. I'm, yeah. I'm going to pick because uh, I'm going in front I'm of just Hank. just hoping he comes back ever. Oh, this is fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to take Mookie Betts, right fielder. Okay. Dodgers. Right, Mookie Good Betts. pick. Thank you. I was going to take him. Uh, I knew you were. But I will go with my third baseman, current Red Sox, Red Sox. Raphael Devers. Devers. Ice cream cones, right? Yeah. So uh, that's a Raffy Big Scoop. it from Carabas. Raffy Big Scoop. Leave that name. He wished me a happy birthday today. Shout out to him. Yeah, no, I, t I text him all the time, so I, I still love him. Um, I felt bad because it was our last text was him texting me happy birthday, and then he was like, even though you didn't say anything to me this past year. Wait. Happy birthday. He, you had back to back happy birthdays from him? Yeah. That's oh, that's brutal. At least he, he made it. He made it. You know, that's brutal. He made it a joke, but it was like, yeah. Well, we talk on Instagram. We talk on Instagram DMs. Like, we, we it's not. That's weird. No, it was, you know, reply to a story. Be like, yeah. Okay, dude, he, right, he that's built, normal. That's he built normal. a gym in his basement, and I was like, this is fucking sick. Oh, dude, he sent me a video of his house. He basically bought a house in Saugus, and the whole house is a gym. Yeah, no, I know. Like his living room is a gym. So we have talked, but the text, seeing it in the text thread was tough. Well, like a four bedroom house. <laughs> and and I was I was joking. I was like, if we're not friends on Facebook, I don't know when your birthday is. We are friends on Facebook. Oh, like it's not even a thing that I'm double whammy. Yeah, it was tough. Whatever. Love you, Jared. Okay, uh, Jake. Yeah, so I took an injured player, Pete Alonso. This looks like three to four weeks, so not not the end of the world. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I think go we should start the stats after this show airs. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. More fair that June way. June 14th. So, um, I can't wait to root. I'm, this is the whole point of this was to I'm get turning on my baseball. notifications right yeah. when we're done. It's be awesome. All these players. Um, so wait, you can do that for just singular players? Maybe on the MLB app. I'll look into it. Or the oh app. yeah, you might be right. Yeah, okay. I'll look into it. I'll let you guys know. Um, so for hit by pitch, there's I'm looking at the active leaders on Baseball Reference. Is Huey there? Mm, I don't think so. What's his name? <laughs> Billy. No, he's like number one all time. What's his name? Huey Jennings. <laughs> okay. So I was active, about to pick him. I, I didn't realize number he was one hit by pitch player is two hundred and seven, and second is one fifty one. So I'm taking Anthony Rizzo at two oh seven. Okay, he's been hit by pitch two hundred and seven times. He's my yeah. hit by pitcher. He's yep. good. He's good player. at that. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Billy, I'm taking Mike Trout. Smart. Please don't be hurt. Please don't be hurt. Please don't be hurt. Pick. <laughs> oh man, I should have taken Mike Trout. Wait, what? Mike uh, Trout. Oh, dude, I'm I'm Diesel right now. Trout center field. Yeah, Billy, Billy right now. Judge and Trout. Billy. Dude, yeah. Fucking That's solid, Billy. Neanderthal yeah. ball. <laughs> oh, man. I'm Judge is also hurt, by the way. What? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's just... What? <laughs> You're a Yankees fan, Billy. Unknown, <laughs> unknown timetable on that one. Unknown yeah. timetable. Dude, he was playing when I saw him. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, but I got pissed about the pitch clock uh, like a month ago. Yeah, yeah. TJ, we'll do a, a grade after each two rounds when it comes back. All right, who's up? Shane and Evan. Shane and Evan. We're gonna go with Adolis Garcia. 
Okay. Position. He is outfield. I think he is on the Rangers. Yep. Oh, no. uh, right fielder. He's right fielder. Yep. Oh no. I feel like I feel like fucking Shane might be. Able. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. I walked over Real the wild he had, card. He had three. He had three MLB games on in the middle of the day. It's Jesus like that's, Christ. That's a, wow. Look at all these right fielders in gray right now. I mean, that's yeah. our position. Dude, Aaron Judge has turf toe. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That sucks. Why? Would he went. This is a great time capsule. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Oh. It was apparently it was when he went through the gate. To make that catch. Ah, oh, shit. That was a sick catch, though. It was sick. <laughs> uh, okay, Max. Uh, I'm going to get my catcher out of the way here. Salvador Perez could be hurt. I haven't checked. Whatever. It's good. He's a good player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was on the Seamhead Express last yeah. year. Very good player. Uh, okay, and then memes to complete the second round. I'll go with Ronald Acuna. Okay, hmm. good one. Uh, TJ, quick grades. Hank had the worst pick. <laughs> Vladdy Guerrero's not in the top 60 in home runs this year. Aside from the injured guys, that's a really bad pick. <laughs> have you, but have you, and he does hit home runs, TJ. Yeah, he's a tank ass, but he only has nine home runs this season. Play for Georgia. Oh, tough. oh man. Play for Georgia. It's early. Kind it is of. early. Not really. We're, not really at all. It's, it's the 4th of time. July. This is running for the yeah, all-star break. He's going to get hot. All right, Beams, you got another one. What do you oh, got, me? I'll, update, I'll, update. I'll go with Ozzy Alves. Ooh, okay. Oh, so you're going Braves. all Braves. I'll be. I don't hate that strategy. Just Braves watch the Braves lose. games. Braves never lose. Um, Ozzy Alves. I'm going to go with Bryce. Okay. Set. Is he been what? What position has he been playing this year? Is he DH? He okay? Because he was like, weren't they trying him out of first base too? Nah. Yeah, they they talked about it, but he Didn't hasn't. Work out. He hasn't okay. really played. Okay, Shane and Evan. We're gonna go with Bo Bichette, shortstop. Mm, I'm gonna. Name. I'm gonna say. Fun right, to watch him swing too. I'm gonna say right now. I'm so lost on like who I, is still available. What the fuck? We're only in the third. Are you round. looking at the? Yeah, I just. I'm. I. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Bo Bichette, shortstop. Shit. Okay. <laughs> great hair. Maybe the best hair in MLB right now. It's a great name. Yeah. <laughs> great baseball name. Great baseball name. Not as good as Pete LeCock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny. All right, go ahead. Oh, fuck. Billy? I, I'm trying to figure out if this guy's injured. Or if he's still alive? Yeah. It's a player that was born in, in the 19th century. I'm um, going with J.D. Martinez. Okay. Designated hitter. All right. The Dodgers. Sox legend. It is weird seeing, uh, you know, for maybe some people that, listen to this show maybe aren't locked into baseball but they have the dh to the national league now and it's it's weird to see oh uh, yeah i knew that <laughs> breaking news <laughs> no, I'm, yeah i'm saying obviously we know that but yeah. there's probably people listening that are like what dh on the dodgers how does that work now we're not going to see like a pitcher hitter like shohei otani like that's pointless shohei otani is a pitcher and he does hit i know but <laughs> he picked the he, one guy that when he pitches <laughs> does he hit no. I'm not gonna see people, you know, Dontrell Willis. Yeah, was a pitcher that could he could rake. What's the point? Oh, Zambrano, able... fucking yes. raked. What's the point of p knowing how to pitch and knowing how to hit if you can't do it in the same game? Lincecum hit too. Yeah, he had. To, yeah, Jake Arrieta. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Remember when John Lester hit his one home run? That was electric. When Bartolo Colon hit his one home run? Yep, mm. that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, who's up? Barry uh, me. One? We talked about it. Yeah, I'm gonna go with. Randy or Rosarena, left fielder, Tampa Bay. Okay. They're like really good. Yeah. I have a future on the, the yeah. Rays. Uh, I'm what were you going to say, Billy? Hold on. Stupid question. He had a thought. He had a thought. Give it to us. Not the Devil Rays anymore. It's just Does Otani get paid way more because he can do both? I, I don't know what his contract. I mean, he's still on his first contract. He will get paid a massive, massive amount of money. Like, if he can pitch year. and hit, they should pay him as a pitcher. It's two players. He's yeah. good, and he's very good at both. Yeah. He will get paid a shitload of money. Like, he should get, like, way more money. He's going to get a lot of he money. He should get, like, two contracts worth of money. He's going to get a lot of money. Okay. <laughs> just making okay. Sure. Hank. People can call me a fake fan. I don't care. Uh, just moved to Chicago. I will be watching a lot more Cubs games. I'm, I'm going to try and get into the Cubs, try and, you know, cheer them on. So, for that reason and that reason alone, I'm taking Patrick Wisdom. Okay, I was going to say, you yeah, guess. not a lot. Going on, but Patrick Wisdom does rake. Mm -hmm. He hits him in bunches. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know. Oh, I, you already took a third baseman. 
Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, damn. Severs. Shit. <laughs> Talk blocked. Unless you want to make Wisdom your hit by pitch guy. Or else fun. he's ineligible. Nah. You're passing? Yeah, I'll take. No, Muncie's third base, too. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, give me a Cunha Jr. Gone. Gone, yeah. Give me Jake Berger. Nope, third base. <laughs> Lindor? I think he's available. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Lindor shortstop. Okay, I will go with... um a shame. I'll take Max Muncy even though he has a hamstring. Damn it. I'll take Max Muncy. Pick. It's not that bad of a hamstring. Yeah. We're all going to have an injured player. I, re- I read it. even playing field. He's not going to go on the IL. So. Yeah. Okay. Max Muncy. Max Muncy. All right. I am going to take a player that has not been drafted yet. <laughs> <laughs> and that. Do this. I'm going to. You know what? I'm going to take Patrick Wisdom. That's nice. Fair. Third base. I hope he hits so many home runs. Yeah, I hope he does too. I'm rooting for him. Uh, and then next, I'm going to go with. Where has can... Nolan Gorman been picked yet? I don't no. believe so. All right, I got Second Gorman. Second base. Second base. Second base, filling out the infield. Okay. Uh, okay, I am going to go with center fielder for the Pittsburgh Pirates, the stunner of the season so far. Jack Swinsky. All right, good pick. Yeah. Jack Swinsky. He fucking crushes balls. Chicago guy. Oh, Swinsky. Hank, you're up. Oh, I thought it was 50. Uh, I'm going to go with... <laughs> this is a... Shout out to everyone who's listening right now. You know what? For the AWOs well, I was just watching, thinking, I was like, this is quiet. No one's watching. Talking. This is I'm, brutal. I'm going to get drunk. I'm gonna, drink a I'm beer because drunk. guess what? It's July 3rd and there's no way you have work today. So drink along with us as we draft. Wait, why the fuck is the baseball Reddit just R dash baseball private? What the fuck? Oh, Bill. they get accepted. No, it's the fucking. They know you're not a seam head. Oh, aren't they striking right now? Reddit's all fucked up. Oh, is Reddit on strike or something? Why are they? It's like third party. PJ, quick, quick explanation of what's going on. Subreddits are just all locked up and messed up right now. Got it. Mm. My choice or quince like. Billy, were you going to just quickly sure. be like, hey, I'm doing a dingers only league. Everyone drop your favorite dingers. No, no. I, I was researching something else. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to go with the legend from Brazil. Jan Gomes. Nice. Etcher, Chicago Jan. Cubs. Fun nice. to say Jan, too. Oh, shit. I'm coming up soon. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go with this guy who's been all over Twitter since he got called up. Ellie De La Cruz on the nice. Reds. Nice. Everyone's been talking about him. Yeah. Nice. Uh, took the pick with the kids. Yeah. Yes. That group, what was it? The, oh, yeah, those guys. Yeah. All right, I have a question about that, you know, not to not to distract from the draft. No, no, this is good. Bill, he, you think while we talk oh, about something else. Motherfuckers if motherfuckers are locked, all the Reddits. What is that? Use the MLB.com. ESPN, or, dude. Yes, Reddit is Billy's brain. That's yeah. What, that's what you feel to understand. Ellie De La Cruz it says he's multiple positions on Reds.com. He's a shortstop. So Billy's like, he, where do I get all my opinions from now? He hit his first home run as a walk-off, and then everyone was online being like, if I caught a home run, I would negotiate for so much. I would ask for this, that's this, Ravel. and this. What would you actually, like, because everyone says that, but it's kind of like being in a real negotiation, like, would you actually have the balls to really try and negotiate something sick? Or I feel like what he got compensated for what he did, which is just catch a home run ball, was pretty fair. Yeah, I think I, I would. Think if it was a, like Aaron Judge's last year, you'd ask for money. But a first home run, it's like, what what, what do you expect? Uh, yeah, for a first home run, I think you could probably get away with doing like free ticket to a game, all you can drink. Yeah. That seems like a fair trade, right? Yeah. That one in particular, everyone was like, this kid should have asked for more. And it's like, it's. No, he got, he got, didn't he get a signed bat too? Yeah, Yeah, he got everything. If it was at like a Nationals game or a Pirates game where they do the races, I would want to be one of the pierogies that raced. Yeah, I would, if if I caught that ball, it would be like, signed bat, pick, picture, let me throw out the first pitch. What about a record breaker? Record breaker you hold on to and you sell. That's just a fact. But that guy did hold on to it, tried to auction it, and it didn't go well for him. I would also, though, like if you caught Judge's record-breaking home run that wasn't actually the record-breaking home run because the record is 70, uh, I would have offered – like I would I would offer Judge to buy it back for less than what I could get in auction. 
You know what I mean? Like if I could get five hundred thousand in auction, I'd be like, Judge, let's do two fifty, sign some stuff. Like I'm not gonna be a dick about it. Cash. Cause then you don't have to pay taxes. I think the Derek Cheater three thousand hit was like an all time fleece by the Yankees. What'd they get? Oh yeah, that, oh, yeah, because it was a home run. Guy. It was a home run, he got it, and he settled for like playoff tickets oh, in no. a suite. Oh. And he had he was like six K in debt. Oh. They t- they took him in the back and like I would want a gift basket, a sleepover and a gift basket. Okay, so I've been trying to find who my hit by pitch guy. Wait, so you be. we've been still doing all this know. and you still don't have a pick? No, I got a guy. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out who's the most hated man in baseball currently that people want to hit. Ooh, that's a good. That's why that was my strategy. Like a guy who like is going to get beamed, and I, I'd love to know where Reddit factors into how well, you're going to figure that out. Because all the the threads were who's the most hated hated man in baseball right now. I was trying to find because I think like Jose Altuve, like everyone's over hating him. Guess who was your pick? Yeah, I think so, that's the fans in the media. <sighs> you still don't know. I'm going Carlos. Ah, oh, fuck. Is he even playing? Carlos Correa. Okay. 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 Wait. As you're hit by pitcher. <laughs> Shortstop. You, you already okay, said it. Perfect. It doesn't matter. What do you? Oh, it doesn't, pitch doesn't matter. Okay. Perfect. So you're playing it. At, you're using him as your hit by pitch guy. Yep. Carlos. Okay. Carlos Correa. Correa. I feel like he probably hits a lot of home runs. No. He might. I mean, I took Rizzo. Well, by taking him as my hit by pitch guy, you guys can't have him. Correct. Correct. Chess move. Defense. Smart. All right, Shane and Evan. We're gonna go with. We're gonna go with Nolan Gorman. He's gone. Second base. Gone. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Just do oh, Command F in the sheet to yeah, double check. I got it. Um. What? We're gonna go Francisco Alvarez. Catch the Mets. Yep. Okay. Um, I am going to, I'm going to go with Tatis. Mm. Good pick. Uh, I think he's playing right field this year. Francisco Alvarez. Okay. I'm putting yes, a, sir. I'm putting a bounty on Carlos Correa's head. Any MLB pitcher who hits him, Jesus. Um, <laughs> we'll get something. We'll suck their dick. It's sure. Something. Well, he's gonna suck your dick. That's good. The, yeah, that's that's bad bountying. Yeah, it's terrible bounty. <laughs> uh, we can chill. It's worse bounty. <laughs> Tour of the Barstool office. Okay, who's up? I'm going to uh, go Beams. with Freddie Freeman. Okay. Beams loves the Braves. Freeman. On, loves on the, the Dodgers. He's on the Braves. On the Dodgers. But he's on the Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> but he does love the Braves. And then. Braves legend. Nolan Arenado. Ooh, okay. Third, uh, third base. Third base. Yep. All right, is it Max? Yep, this is Max. me. I'm going to go with uh, Bo Bichette. Shit. Nice. Gone. Taken. Taken. Oh, taken. Yeah. taken, taken. Great taken, pick, taken. though. Great value. Great value. <laughs> Great value. <laughs> all right, now, now, oh, fuck, now I'm, now I'm all thrown out thrown for a loop here. <laughs> is, I was pretty. <laughs> this was definitely going to happen. Yeah. Correa, We're only in around five. Correa, yep. by the, right, the way, has the same amount of home runs as Flatty Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. He's really Why are you hating on Vladdy Jr. TJ? That was a bad. A, that was a he, bad first round. He is a stud. Not in the top sixty. All right. Um, how <laughs> he about, was last uh, year. Shit. Give him some time. All right. My next real pick players was don't heat up until after the All Star break. Everyone knows that. Fuck. 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 <laughs> uh, I'll go with Julio Rodriguez. Okay. Center field. We are going to go with Corbin Carroll, left field. Nice. I'm in backs. Has anyone taken Jordan Alvarez yet? Yes. Yeah, you can look that up also on the sheet. I, I took him in the first round. Whose pick is it now, Max? It's Billy. Oh, oh TJ, do you have a grade of that? Was that a full two I rounds? I was the end of the fourth, yeah. yeah. Worst pick in the in those two rounds. Um, Do you have the sheet? Do you have the spreadsheet in front of you? No. Correa, right, probably, him. because he had some runs. Okay. No, yeah. Cor- yeah. But also to take away home runs for other people. Sure. Think about the yeah. negative home run impact. You're right. Yeah. I'm right. underthinking it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two steps ahead. I'm going with Brent. Do we do? Oh, shit. Sorry. Brent Rooker. Sounds good. Brent Rooker. I'm very close to motioning for Billy to put on auto draft. <laughs> <laughs> I Rooker would really if I could. Well. I'm like, I'm, I got Aaron Judge and Mike Trout. I like that's auto good names. You got good names. Yeah, great names. Okay, uh, my turn. I'll go with Chicago guy Luis Robert. Okay, center right. fielder. White Sox. White Sox. Fifteen homers at the time of this recording. Okay, 
I'm I'm going to take a left fielder here. Uh, I need to fill my left field. I'm torn between two people. I am too. So I'm probably going to take the one you don't take. I'm going to give it to you. Then. No, I don't want that. I, yeah, you I want deserve the other him. one. He he is who 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 you deserve. He's more tied to the show. He's more tied to you and PFT. So it's I'm not going who I was to take of. Juan Soto. Fuck. Mm. That's who shit. I wanted. But you have to take now. Yeah, I'll take Christian Yelich. <laughs> <God> damn it. <laughs> Wait, I need positions. Christian so Yelich, left, left field. I mean, Both if I want to have. Both left field. Both left field. Yeah, it's just be gentlemen and fill in your own. I am. Rosters. God damn it. It helps you keep track of what you need and what you don't. Yeah, no, it does. All right, whatever. Christian Yelich, he's going he's gonna to do it for he me. He stinks. The fact that they were right next to each other, it was like, I should take Juan Soto, but also Yelich. Yeah. You could have. But Juan Soto. Stuck it in, to me more when Christian Yelich. You want to trade? No. <laughs> First trade of the season? First for a different player. No. No, no, no. We have to trade position for position. Yeah, I know. I'm saying like f- let me free up, I guess. No, I wanted I wanted uh Thanks. wait, did you take I I want I want wisdom. Mm, that's what wisdom? I got wisdom. Yeah. Who do you have? Devers. Nah, I like wisdom. Okay, PFT, you have two picks. So that's Sands? Soto Yelich? Yeah, I have Yelich. Okay. All right, I got two picks, so I'm going to go with uh, Conforto. Has he been taken? I don't believe so. No. Okay, I'm going right fielder. Right fielder. Right. Or, wait, left fielder. Right fielder. Right fielder. Right fielder, San Francisco. I'm going by ESPN and MLB. Yep, right fielder. So for my next pick after that, I'm going to go with... Julio Rodriguez. On. Damn it. Right? Someone Great took him? pick. Wait, someone, so someone, I don't think someone took him. Max did. I did, yep. Oh, you did? Oh, shit. Oh, you just wrote J-Rod. Oh, if you look at the top, I'm writing the snake draft. All right, I'm going to go with uh, first baseman, Milwaukee Brewer, Rowdy Tellez. Nice. He's a great Rowdy. name. Great name to root for. Nice. Nice. Okay, so I am up. Ooh, this is getting tough, boys. Yeah. It's getting really tough. Um, Let's see. Let's see. I want to make sure that he hasn't hit it in bunches. Has he gotten? Oh, no. He hasn't hit a home run in fucking forever. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it because I have a future on this team. I'm going to take... Ryan Mountcastle, first baseman, Baltimore Orioles. Ryan, the O's. thirty-five to one. My 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 three futures this year: are Orioles thirty-five to one, Rays thirteen to one, and the Chicago Cubs a hundred to one. Not looking so good. It was actually funny because when I put in the Cubs at a hundred to one, they then went down to sixty to one, and I was like, "Damn, great value by me." Mm-hmm. They're back to a hundred to one, so not so great. Go Cubs, go! Here we go. I want the Cubs. Chicago, what do you say? All right. Uh, I'm going to take my designated hitter, and I'm going to take Marcel Ozuna. Nice. Atlanta Braves, 13 dingers on the year. That's about the extent of what I know about him. (laughs) (laughs) Used to play for the Marlins. I think he's dealt or dealing with some legal troubles. Great. Yep. Yep. Outlaw. That means he's got to play harder. (laughs) <laughs> he got legal fees to pay. Oh yeah, he had that DUI video. I don't know. Something I don't, I don't know. Someone want to handcuff him, Hank. I mean, listen, this isn't this isn't an ethic. Who was it? Who you pick? Marcelo Marcel Zuna. I think maybe it was him. Oh no! Oh, fuck. What is it? D- uh, he. I just I just searched him. He provides an update on his status after exiting last night's game following a hit by pitch on his right wrist. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Hit by pitch guys. Yeah, he got dangerous hit, because yeah. you could get ten points, but. Get hurt. Get hurt. All right, Jake. Um, he's day to day. He's fine. Shit, 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 shit. Orange or ten foot single. What a beast. That's a that's a guy. That's not, that's a dingers only guy. If you're hitting four hundred ten foot singles, only guys that hit dingers can do that. Oh, that means he doesn't hustle. No, yeah, that's that's a guy that hits dingers though. Yep. That's a guy that hits the ball and is like that's gone. Here. He's yeah. like that one's gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go right fielder Hunter Renfro. Okay. He just hit a homer huh. two minutes ago, so maybe he'll get hot for tomorrow. There you go. You just Jake just walked up to the uh, roulette wheel. <laughs> back to back numbers. He's like, oh shit, <laughs> just hit. Got it. Okay, Billy. Bobby Billy, Billy. Witt Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. He is a 
Shortstop? Yep. Oh, yeah. Shortstop. Yeah. Be wet. Nice. Bob Dub. Nice. All right, who's up? Shannon Evan. We're going to go with Jose Ramirez. Third base. That's a good pick. Yep. He's going to get hot. Indians? Guardians? Sorry. Guardians. Do you think that historically you're allowed to refer to them as the Indians? Like, did the Cubs beat the Indians? The Cubs beat the Indians. They beat the Indians, yeah. yeah. But then but then does not open But if they played the again, it would be the Guardians. But it's like, yeah, wow. Redskins won the Super Bowl. They did. They won three of them, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like Baltimore Colts. Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, it's, you know, it is what it is. It's part of our history, Hank. Yeah, they race history. Shameful as it is. But they changed it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, who's up? I'm Max. A, if it's so bad to change it, why won't they retroactively I am going to, to go it? with... Oh, uh, I words. Uh, <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt. Okay. Cardinals, first, first baseman. Base. That doesn't sound like a guy that hits dingers. He does. What does that does. mean? What does that Sounds mean? like a guy that does your taxes. Well, what does that mean, Hank? <laughs> just sounds oh. like a, uh, a normal. Oh. It just sounds like a wow, Hank, normal account. Loaded. Ooh. Sounds like a guy that what? What, what else Ooh, you want to add to maybe that? Maybe your doctor or your lawyer. Ooh. Maybe <laughs> goes to church on Saturday, kind of guy. No, it just doesn't. I mean, what I if his know. last name was just Schmidt? What would you say then? I don't. Just doesn't sound like a guy. That doesn't doesn't jump off the page as a guy that hits dingers. <laughs> he does hit dingers. We'll see. Okay, who's up? Memes. I'm, I'm gonna go with Sean Murphy, catcher, Braves. Okay, okay. <laughs> loading on the Braves. Loves his. I, I like that strategy. I really do. Yeah, I mean they're a good team. They're gonna hit dingers. And then at shortstop, Willie Adamas. Okay. Oh, he's still in Tampa. Oh yeah. Um, I'm up, right? Yep. Well, that was the end of the sixth round. Yeah, TJ. Oh, the sixth round, TJ. TJ. Yeah. I like the uh, the Soto pick was the best out of that bunch. I think. So Hank's back. Damn. Damn. TJ. He's gonna eat cool. up. Yep. Uh, Just stay tuned. Ooh, not good. What about Yelich. He's gonna heat up, maybe. Okay, who's up? I'm up. This might be stupid because I don't know when he's coming back, but he's such a vibes guy. I'm gonna go with Jazz Chisholm. Oh, nice! Pick. Marlins are hot right now. Great name. Great. He's hurt. Now that he's guy hurt right that now. That sounds just like such a guy a that guy. hits dingers. <laughs> Jazz Chisholm. Yes. Hmm? Like hits dingers. Fucks bitches. Jazz Chisholm. What if his name was Shlomo Chisholm? Second base, Max. What if his name? What if his last <laughs> name is second, second, second base? Chisholm. <laughs> <laughs> They have Chisholm playing center field because the rise is at second. Oh, look at Shane. <laughs> okay. I mean, he, I mean, baseball reference has second base shortstop. Oh, but Shane fielder. just said, where is he playing him. every day, Shane? Center field. I there it him. is. Shane. All right, now I'm all out of the Do loop. you have a center fielder or no? <laughs> yes, I do. No, I meant like available. Sorry. I don't. Yeah. I'm so yeah. excited for Hold this on. show to air. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. Fuck it. I'll take labor then. Okay. Oh, he's playing He's playing second, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good pick. We are going to go with Marcus Simeon, second base. Fuck you. Right. Whoa. Okay. Billy. I'm going with Jake Berger, third base. Okay. Berger try, sounds try to take dope. Him. I'm going to go with Brandon Lau, second baseman, Tampa Bay. Okay. Okay. Great, uh, pick. great pick. My original plan was to just pick a bunch of Chicago Cubs and White Sox, but then I realized not a lot of them hit dingers, so that 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 got ran its course. But now I think I'm just going to be a Pods guy. Okay. I lives in San Diego. I'm taking Tatis Jr. All right, field. Took him already. So long ago. Ago. What the fuck? So long ago. Long ago. What the oh, fuck? Great pick, though. Yeah. When? Uh, like 15 minutes ago. It's not even, dude. Roy, Roy's. That's He's on the first. old school fourth round. He, he, he didn't even get <laughs> fourth round. <laughs> oh, Brandon Lau just went on the injured list. Oh, oh. damn. <laughs> this draft is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Dude, I'm having a great time. <laughs> um, I will take Teoscar Hernandez, mm. right fielder, Seattle Mariners. Okay. You took Vlad Jr. as a right fielder. Oh, Hank, we That's are. Frown. No, Vlad's a first baseman. Shane? Sh- yeah, Shane, can we get a ruling on Vlad's positioning? <laughs> I'm sorry? Can we get a ruling on Vlad's positioning? Vlad- what about his positioning? 
What, what, I think he's what, drunk too. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're what right. position has Vlad been playing? Uh, first base. Okay, he, so he's I listed on ESPN first. first. I color coded. So Vlad's your first baseman. So orange, and then Teoscar Hernandez. Yes, right fielder. Okay. Damn, jeez. Tati Soto one two punch would have been my great. My team is hurt. Okay, I'm gonna take. Uh, Actually, you want to trade? No, thank you. Sure. Uh, no, thank you. Oh. Wait, has this guy been picked? You sure? This is getting tough. Yeah, but even, a if trade guys, offer. even if your guy's hurt, the other teams aren't guaranteed to score while they're hurt. So that's what's great about dingers only. Dingers only. I'm trading a guy that has 11 home runs for a guy that has 12. That's all. That's good value. I'll trade you. I'll give you something else, Max. We can do a double trade if you want. No, no, thank you. You're fun. You're a lot of fun. I like the vibe. Tatis is a vibes guy. I mean, that's a guy you want. I, that's a guy I want in my clubhouse. He's always suspended. His teammates hate him. No, nah, he's a great guy. I'll give you Jan Gomes. No, thank you. All right, I'm gonna take Wander Franco. What position? Shortstop. Rays. Okay. All right, good pick. I'm just picking teams, guys from teams that I have bets on. <laughs> I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with Siri. Oh yeah, I saw that from the from the Rays. What position? Center field. And then I'm gonna go with Dalton Varsho, Blue Jay, Big BJ. Nice. Left field. I'm, uh, I'm so stupid. I should have taken Danzy Swanson. Fuck. Um, if you want him, if you need a shortstop, Hank. Uh, let's go with... Uh, I'll go with Estery Ruiz. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> are you looking at my computer? No. Are you looking at my computer? No, I, I'm sure we have the same exact thing pulled up. MLB baseball player stats hit by pitch. He's Fuck. leading the He's league by pitch player. Fuck. He's leading the league with twelve. What is it? Estuary Ruiz. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Estuary like a river, like a. He's got twelve small river. He's got one hundred and twenty points. That's incredible. Yeah. I need him to keep up the pace. Wait, what? Pirate Simon's calling me. Pirate Simon? <laughs> it just went away. Now it was wild. Did you pick up. I was about it to. Might be an accident. What a steal by me. Yeah, literally. I had <laughs> him leading the league. I had him pulled up. Damn. Damn. Okay. Um, that changes everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will go with Zach Neto. What position? Hit by pitch. Zach, Los Angeles. Uh, no Los S3 Angeles. Ruiz. No. No S3 Ruiz. Mark that if that changes the league. That pick right there. It could be huge. Pick was, round eight. Pick two. That could be huge. All right, Jake. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, Actually, he's humming along. Yeah, we got two more, two and a half rounds. Hello? Left. Is Pirate Simon's calling him? About dialing me. Okay, next. Um, I'm going to go third baseman. Let me make sure I have third baseman. What does he do nowadays? Third baseman for the Braves, Austin Riley. I can tell you. We played call with him. Uh, I'm going with Yandy Diaz as my first baseman. He's listed as first baseman. Did we take some... him already? No, I no, took no, Wander I, Franco. I, I, kind of we were thinking of Jan Gomes. I command, I Gomes. I Jan I command F'd Yandy. So Yandy Diaz, first base? Yeah, but for some reason he's listed third base sometimes. Shane, can you weigh in? What's up? <laughs> Is Yandy Diaz a first baseman or a third baseman? He's first. Cool. Nice. Good Take pick, Evan. Billy. All right, Shane and Evan. What are you thinking? We're going to go uh, Jonathan India for our, our hit by pitch guy. Okay. Jonathan India is sixth right now. Hit by pitches. Eight. He has on the he was season. 10th last year. He's working his way up. Yeah. You guys got all your stats. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go another Phil, Trey Turner. Sure. Slow start, but he's coming back. What position, I was Max? vintage Max talking himself into a pick. Yeah. I, I'll be sure. honest. Sure. He said sure to no one. I was going to take Trey Turner. <laughs> Max, what position? <laughs> Is he listed as? Short stop. Yeah. Short stop. Like, blue. are you sure, Max? No, he's just sure. No, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, no, yeah. That's Max. All right. Memes. I got a question. <laughs> And this is very, uh, no one, no one who's listening right now is going to know what we're talking about. Does Kareem live in the office? 
<laughs> DJ? He's a he's a Viva Hours card. Just walk by, yeah. It's Tuesday night. Him, Jack Mack, and Travi for the boys are in the cave right it's now. Eleven thirty. All right, I like that. Grinding. You gotta you gotta add you and, and Bubba to that list, yeah. TJ. That's 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 the Viva. <laughs> Viva that's, that's the, the game. That's the Viva. Boys. Somebody's you gonna don't keep the know, lights on around here. Uh our Fasoli, Fistuli, some may call him, legendary guy. He's already moved to Chicago. He said that anyone who works past six PM is it six PM? Yeah. They call that Viva Hours. Viva Hours have now begun. It's man time. Yeah. <laughs> Dudes only. Okay. Uh who's up? I'm gonna go with Jared Kellenick. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mariners. This is good. We're learning names. Jared Kalanick. What, what position? All about. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the beauty of this is that you. Yeah, we're going to start following guys. Um, we need an update from TJ because we have eight down. Oh, yeah. Go. Um, I think there's a lot of value left on the board. I feel like you guys are playing to the list too much and not to the names. There's some names mm. on here. Do you think about my Tatis? Really oh, we're kind of boxed in because Tatis is good. Yeah. Only pick one position. If, yeah, if you scroll down a little bit though, there's some like huge name guys that came off injuries after. Yeah, we're the start looking the year. at current leaders. Yeah, like, that are going oh, to hit true. thirty yeah. home runs yeah. in the rest of the of the year. So. Any, oh, any center fielders you would take? Hmm. Oh, don't He's give him a tip. Him? <laughs> don't give him a tip. I keep seeing C and thinking center. It's catcher. <laughs> I'll go with Jazz Chisholm. Yeah. And taken. No, no he no. wasn't taken, right? No, he wasn't taken. Wasn't oh, yeah, because Hank couldn't take him. As center fielder? Yeah. It's good value. It's a great name. Yeah. Yeah. Make a list of names that, that you would pick that you can tell us at the end. Who's up? This would be me. Um, you sound excited. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. Hurry up. Hurry up. Um, uh, Do you feel any pressure I... as the person who played baseball longest on this show? For sure. Uh Oh, wait a minute. Is he, I got Let me just make sure we don't have an injury, and then I'm good. Three, two, uh, uh, uh. I think he's. Oh shit. Oh, Manny Machado. Dude. Good pick. Dude, I got Is that one of the names you were thinking of, TJ? Yes. Oh, let's go. Let's shit, go. You let's guys go. can see my computer yeah. screen from Manny Machado. It's the third base. To be fair, TJ also gave me a name that I didn't take because of the integrity of the game. Jake, oh. Jake, I think I deserve some credit for That's that. That's huge. Uh, what was the name? I'm not going to tell you. That's not integrity at all. Really? I'm no, not. Shane and Evan. Shane and Evan. Shane and Evan. Right, we're going to go with Adam Duvall, center fielder. Fuck you. Duvall. I'm going with Gary Sanchez <laughs> at like, catcher. He's been on like three teams this year. He's been <laughs> the way for Oh, Gary. Lot, but longer dude, than the, the uh, best nickname, El Gary. Dude, but he, what do you mean? Wait, Shane and Evan, Adam Duvall is what position? Center field. Center, center field. field purple. Okay, so Billy took Gary. What's wrong with Gary Sanchez? Oh, he's great. I loved him on the Yankees. He's just like not guaranteed to be in the league. Why not? Because he's been on the Mets. He's been on, I think, the Twins. But he's hitting dingers. He's got five yeah. home runs this season. Can't catch. Can't oh, call a game. Shit. Um, just up a player, and he's having a bad year. Whew. I can't switch my pick, can I? Nope. 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 Fuck. You cannot. Nope. Shit, he's like a better hitter than he is a catcher. Yeah, I should take him as your DH. Fuck. No. Who's up? What? Wait, Who's dude, up? Home Who's up? If he's hey. a catcher and he's at DH for a game, does that count? All right, go, yeah, Jake. There's no way that anyone's going to like catch on to that. Right? right? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to pay attention. Um, hmm. Um, Let's go. I'm gonna go okay. with Hadley Rutschman. Okay, oh. nice superstar. Superstar. Oh. Roger Baltimore. All right, Hank. Did I steal him from you? No, you did not. Uh, I, Jan Gomes. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna take my. I believe I need a center fielder. I'm gonna take my center fielder. Mask guy. Grew up with his cousin. Great name. Legendary name. Mike Estremski. Center fielder, San Francisco nice. Giants. Hey, mm-hmm. okay, good nice. pick, good pick, good pick. Uh, all right, I have a uh, pick. I'm going to go with... I grew up with his cousin. His cousin didn't have the same last name as his Shremsky. Always, always felt bad. It does suck. You got to just change you Call your Shremsky's grandson, but yeah, people don't know. Uh, I'll go with uh, Cal Raleigh from the Seattle Mariners. Okay. I'm looking at fan graphs right now. He has eight home runs. 
minus three and a half. He should have eleven and a half home runs. So that's a he great. Should have value. eleven and a half home runs. He should have eleven. He's an underachiever. Okay, as got I'm it. looking, I just I just found this list. I really wish I had it. Cal Raleigh second base uh, catcher. Cal Raleigh catcher. Seattle Mariners. Got it. I'm gonna go with Adam Frazier, second baseman, Balmer Orioles. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna take a shortstop. Adam Frazier, second base. Yep, second base, okay. and then. At shortstop. Oh wait, you took Nolan Gorman. Wait, did I? Yes, you have Nolan Gorman. Of course, yeah, my man, Nolan Gorman. Yeah. Okay, so Nolan you Gorman. need. Yeah. <laughs> of course, you need a catcher. I was testing you. You need a catcher and shortstop. PFT. Yeah, need... Oh, a catcher and s- is Nolan Gorman a second baseman? I have him a second yes. baseman. Yes. So okay. I see. I don't see red or blue on your team. Okay. okay. I need a. I, I'm going to go with Anthony Volpe. Oh, nice. Wait, yeah, there we been go. Playing short. Yeah. yeah, he's been playing short. So yeah, I, okay. good pick, PFT. Great pick. Thanks, PFT. Well, so Welcome. I looked I looked it up because I was going to maybe pick him as well, and the first article was uh, Yankees, or, or Brian, or sorry, not Brian Cashman, what the fuck is his name? Uh, Brett Boone, Aaron, Aaron Boone, Boone. Uh, says that Anthony Volpe is staying up. Can I, can I answer good. this? Good. <laughs> well, question answered. That's, One less thing I have to worry about. It's never a good conversation to have that you have to ask if he's staying up. Oh, damn. It went to voicemail. Um, What's your question, Hank? No, my, my, my freshman year basketball coach, this guy's a legend, Coach DJ, he gets everyone's information. He calls them every year on their birthday. He called you? He just called me, but I didn't answer. Oh, call him back. Whoa. This freshman year basketball round coach? intermission. It's time for the final sure round. He knows he's live to yep. tape. Are you still up? I am still up, Coach DJ. I'm actually recording. I'm recording a podcast right now, so so you're so you're live on the air. Thank you for calling. Oh, Henry, I love you. Fantastic. I am very glad. I missed you last year, but I wanted to say happy birthday. Thank you, Coach. I I appreciate it. I always appreciate you reaching out. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you. I'm glad you're on the podcast, and and I'm sorry that I'm so old that I actually don't know what half the things that you do. But <laughs> I'm glad to hear that you're doing so well. Appreciate appreciate you, Coach. Hope everything's going well. Everything is fantastic. Just went to saw the Citrus guys today, uh, playing in Wellesley Wellesley League, and they won by two and uh, a buzzer beater. But you know, love you guys. You keep me going. All of you do. Love it. Thanks, Coach. Absolutely. Love you. Happy birthday and keep doing what you're doing. All right. Love you too. Have a good one. You too. All right. Bye. All right. That really fucking cool. warmed my heart. That's nice really guy. cool. That's that guy. Really nice. That warmed my heart. That guy's the man. Loves you. DJ. Every awesome. single year. Holy shit. And you, He's how long you. ago were you? Did you was he your coach? Freshman year of high school. So 16 years ago? Yeah. Calls you every year? Every 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 one of his players. Oh my god, that guy's the man. Yeah. But he probably just has to call people all the time. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, Shout he gets to Coach probably DJ. that ruled. He's probably yeah. gets to call someone every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That ruled. That's actually a good strategy. He's a man. So this is the last round. So if you look at the top, there should be one missing color for your final position. All right. Go ahead, PFT. Did you already pick your last pick? Oh, I get another pick. That's right. You just took Volpe, yeah. I took Volpe. So He's definitely staying PFT up. Definitely catcher. Staying up. He's what, did you, up. what do you think, TJ, about Volpe? Is he definitely staying up? Yeah, yeah. he's not going to hit a bunch of home runs. Uh, well, uh, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know that. He's a Yankees fan. I'd say 20 max. Okay, well, that's 12 more home runs. That's a that's a shitload of home runs. Twelve more points. Who would you have taken, TJ? I got a list. I don't want to take pitches. Yeah, yeah. I bet you do. Uh, all right. Let's so see catcher. I know. I know. I need a catcher. And so for my catcher, I'm going to take a guy, a little guy. You may have heard of him. Goes by the name of JT Real Muto. Nice, nice. Billy, what do you think about that, Max? I almost took him in like the third round, but you didn't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> now I got him, Real Muto, baby. <laughs> Uh, Big Cat, second. Okay. Uh, this is a bad pick, but I have to have at least one Cub on my team, so I'm going to take Nico Horner. Second base. Got to right. support the team. He hasn't, he hasn't hit a home run in like a month. It's uh, okay. Hank, also second baseman. Yep, uh, I'm going stri- strictly on name recognition. Uh, Kevon Biggio. Kevin Biggio. Yeah, Biggio. so that was the guy I was looking up, and I was like, ooh, he's having a bad year. Yeah, he know, is. He's, he's had adding 190. Six home runs, though. Right. And I looked him up because I, I was. I got him at 202. 
Oh, nice. So TJ, when TJ tipped us off, I went and looked deep in the list trying to find someone. I saw him, and I saw that he hasn't played a ton of games. He's like, oh, did he get injured? He's just sitting a bunch. Yeah, but he's a Biggio. He had a home run tonight. Oh, bang. Go. Doesn't count, though. Doesn't count. <laughs> Does not count. True. <laughs> Tomorrow is the first day. Okay. Uh, me, I need a DH, and I think this is someone TJ was hinting at, but Giancarlo Stanton has been injured. And he just hit his fifth home run. Ah, oh, right. that's my a DH. We're, we're idiots. Hit. We are really, really dumb. I almost let that slip. Yeah, but he'll get injured again. Probably, but he'll also hit like 10 home runs before then. God damn it. Shit. Yeah, DH Stanton. CJ, is that who you were talking about? That was on the list, yes. Yep. <laughs> damn it. We might be the only, <laughs> the only fantasy baseball league. That let's that end did one of the last on Carlos Stanton. <laughs> Next year we're doing this league from game one because Dinger's yeah. only rules. Yeah, so we will, already this will loving be now. this. Yeah. I'm gonna love Jack in this. Okay, Billy, last pick. Let me just figure out this guy's healthy. <clears throat> Going, uh, Zach McKinstry. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. That's very close, Billy. Billy, you need a second baseman. I know. I'm looking. I've been working on this the whole time. I just found out there was projections, too, that you could find. Uh, I've been looking through those. Okay. I'm going with uh, Jorge Polanco. Okay. That's a good name. Jorge yeah. Polanco. Twins. Yeah. Okay. Who's up? Shane and Evan need... Uh, what do they need? Fuck me. <laughs> what, what's wrong? Shane and Evan DH. Hey, Polanco's right? got a torn hamstring. Oh, no. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a torn rotator cuff. I know. But then I can expense the surgery. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with Justin Turner. Oh. Red okay. Sox. Okay. As a DH? Yep. I will go with <laughs> Ty, never gonna win this league. I will go with Ty France as my hit by pitcher. No. Mm. <laughs> is he up there? And hit? Yeah, he is. He's, up yeah, he's there. number two. Who's number one? Uh, Ruiz. Oh yeah, that's right. S three Ruiz. Sorry, Hank. That's gonna change. That's gonna change. That's fate. Because think about it. Like Juan Soto could hit like five more home runs than Christian Yelich. But if Esther Ruiz gets just hit by a pitch two more times, that's insane value. All right, Mr. Irrelevant. Memes needs a hit by pitch player. <laughs> I was going to take Ty France. Uh, Andres Jimenez. Okay. okay. All right. My All team right. sucks. All right, real quick. Go <laughs> go back through my team uh, trash. pitchers for tiebreaker. This is strikeouts. Strikeouts. Pitchers for tiebreaker. Let's do it fast. Am I up first? Shit. Yeah, just go oh. quick. I we weren't doing Damn anything. it. Do you not want to be up first? Uh, I think I should get to go first. Uh, yeah. Yeah, go, yeah, we'll go, do, go we'll first, PRT. Because I went last. Um, I'm going to go with Strider. Yeah, I'll Strider. go with uh, Kevin Gaussman. Good pick, Big Cat. Thank you. This means very little. No, you don't know it that. It means everything. That you know what Max just did? Max ensured yeah. that it's going to come down to his pitcher in the last game. Yeah. Sh shut up. This is like picking pitchers in the last you round where you don't think you it means up, anything, Max. but it could mean everything. I'll go it could mean for second place too. Yeah, I'll go with Shohei. No. Nice. Shohei's been picked though. Oh yeah. Yes, BFT. Oh, he gets paid Clayton twice. Kershaw. I'm so happy I didn't pick yeah. Shohei. That's Clayton embarrassing. Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. That's so, dude. Was he picked in the first? Was he the second pick? Well, no, yeah, it was the first overall. Pick. First overall pick. <laughs> <laughs> Clayton Kershaw. Damn, dude. First overall pick. Clayton Kershaw. Uh, I'll go Garrett Cole. Why fuck. not? Fuck. That's what I was. Okay. <laughs> Shh. Fuck. 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 <laughs> uh. Sh I want to see a word cloud of, of things that we've said during this draft. <laughs> I think it's mostly just fuck. Yeah. All right, Billy. I'm going uh, Shane McCl right. McClannan. Okay. McClannan. Yes, good pick. McClannan. Raise. We're going to go Hunter Green. Okay. Um, Reds. Yep. I will go with Tristan McKenzie. Did somebody pick Garrett Cole? Yes. Yeah, yes. dude. Someone sucked. 
Zach Wheeler. All right. Sure. Oh, for it. Wow. How do you not pick Zach Wheeler, Max? Fake fan. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, it, the pitcher doesn't matter. It's not going to matter. All right. Okay. Max, okay. All right. <laughs> so this is strikeout starting Wednesday through 14. Yes. Yep. Yeah, well, you might be like tied for just second. Just tiebreaker. Then uh, lose. TJ, like who'd we leave out? Uh, Nick Castellanos, uh, Hunter Renfro. Oh, we should have taken Castellanos. No, I took Hunter, Hunter Renfro. Renfro. Hunter Renfro got taken. Gunnar Henderson. Okay. I thought I think he's gonna be really good. Bregman. Did anybody take Bregman? No. Oh, Joey no. Gallo has eleven. Shit. There's a guy named Vinny Pasquatino that Joey plays for the, Gallo the has eleven homers. Joey Gallo's destroying the ball. Pasquatino's hurt right now as well. Oh my god. Pasquatino. Did anybody take Bellinger? Vinny Pasquatino. No, nobody took Bellinger. We should have taken. I can't believe nobody took Castellanos. Just in case. Just I was looking case, at him, yeah. but I don't That's know. On that. like That's when, 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 on memes. That's on memes. He's only cool in Cincinnati. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's on your memes. fault. That was That's a Cincinnati your, thing. That's your fetish. Yeah, listen. That was a Cincinnati well, thing. Jimmy, Jimmy Cass- Carter is going to die any day now, yeah. and Castellanos is going to hit Cass- four home runs. No. Castellanos has been really, really good this year. He like He's been on fire, but he still hasn't been hitting that many home runs. So, so that, that means he'll probably hit a shitload of home runs. But he's dying. I think that like he... He's playing as well as he possibly could be playing right now and still not hitting. Like, he's hitting a shit ton of doubles. He peaked. Okay. Dude, Mike well, Travis anyone else? to hit dingers. Paul DeJong. Okay. I think he got taken. I just did one from every position. Um, TJ, you should. do you have one from every position? I need a pitcher. All right. Yeah. You should track yours. Okay. Yeah. Unofficial. <laughs> the leftovers. TJ, yeah. Ten, yeah, it's gonna be like, TJ beats us. The scrap Steve. It's yeah. like the you heat. You track TJ's? Yeah, it's like the heat. Undraft the team. I'll send yeah. The team. Put it, put it into the... DJ, text me your list. I'll add it to our sheet. Got it. Damn. All right. Well, if you finish top two, uh, we should... So, T should get something. <laughs> <laughs> to laugh at us during the video. Yeah, you should get to pick what uh, the what what the pitcher has to wear. <laughs> like, like, right. Finish top two. I mean, th- this is uh, this has been a painful draft to get through. But the the fun of the league starts now. Yeah. It's going to be a very fun league to keep track of. And thank God we taped all this on a podcast so people could listen to this and be like, what did I just listen to? <laughs> yeah, you just listen to guys saying names, many of which were repeats. <laughs> yeah. 40 check. Yeah. Um, My team's good enough to not come in last. You think? Could be good enough to come in second. I think those guys were going harder than us in this room back yeah. there. Yeah, I think so, sick. too. Shane and Evan meant business. They... Took no hesitation on their face. I'd like to apologize to Josh Smith. I'm going to be rooting for him to get hit by a pitch after he battled back from like almost <laughs> dying by getting hit by a pitch. Yeah. I would All like right, Josh. not apologize to Esther Ruiz. Just keep getting fucking plunked, dude. Josh, I just hope you get hit like on your shoulder a lot. It will be such a game changer if someone oh, yeah. has a guy get hit by a pitch like 10 times. Yeah, just stick your ass out there, Josh. Yeah. He's your ass. Huge. Uh, Still okay. got a bounty on Carlos Correa for any <laughs> NMLB pitcher. What are you going to do? Uh, can you give him a tour of the office? Is that what they're calling it now? Yeah. Or the office. whole office, the deep office. Or the office. And, very, uh, very back of the office. Uh, TJ, can you do us one last favor? Yep. Can you go, because we trust you, uh, can you go hit the lottery ball machine? Yeah. Okay. Uh, before you do that. Mm, not gonna say the n- word yet. N- numbers. Oh, <laughs> I didn't say. I really, didn't you say said it. numbers. Really, no, I just said numbers. numbers. There's none. <laughs> hey, <yes! laughs> hey, what the fuck? I just said numbers. <laughs> yeah, but you just said numbers in a sentence. No, I said numbers. If you listen back, I said numbers after you said. Let me that. go twenty-one. I'll go, wait, TJ, hold on. Oh, you can just tell us. Make sure you put it back no, in if there's no, one in T- there. TJ, I'm I'm getting the room up here. What? Oh, oh, oh TJ's getting the room. Oh, right. oh, oh, I'm, doing, I'm doing 40. I'll do, 40. You, I'll do 17. I think I'm the only one that drank all 40 ounces. Memes, have you ever gotten this? What the hell is Man, going on on the TV? Uh, I don't believe so. I could have got it by the day this airs. Probably not, though. No, probably not. Yeah, no. As of now. Probably not. Who the hell but is when is now? Uh, me. Oh, oh nice. We got it. Memes and Shane. Numbers. Twenty-eight. One. Twenty. Uh, Evan. Five. Five. I hope Evan gets it. That'd be awesome. His was fifty-five. 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 55. 55. 55. All right, this is perfect. Dun, dun. Rooting for you, Hank. I, dude. Genuinely rooting for you, Hank. 
What is that? I can't see. Show it to the camera. Oh, TJ. Oh, is that? Oh, 68. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. So close. Oh, and Hank would have gotten it on his birthday, even though this is oh. airing three weeks later. Oh, man. I could have been rational. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, so schedule. No show, obviously, July 4th for, for no show on Wednesday. Friday, we have Dungeons & Dragons with special guest Donnie. So uh, get excited. Great, great episode with Tim Woods back. And then on Sunday, we'll be back together. Love you guys.